Alright, so, new year, new mod. Let's check out this Diablo 3 mod. Um, so this mod has Diablo 3 classes, and I believe also for like some endgame it has like Diablo Good, 3 bosses on top as well. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Toma. Welcome back to the Bloomers. And uh, yeah, we're running a vote right now, like a poll right now, on which class, which Diablo 3 class to pick. We do a poll with Crusader. Uh, I can only put five options on there, so Crusader has to go for now. Match. Alright, um, of course I created the character in the wrong freaking like, menu here. <clears throat> uh, we go to custom game, and then Diablo 3, World 001. We're not gonna play Season 5 yet, right? Not yet. Um, wrecked by D3. Alright, let's go. Uh, of course we play hardcore, right? Why wouldn't you? Diablo. Diablo. Alright, let's go. Yo, yeah, Mutz Boots, welcome, welcome. Rain of Terror wasn't really good. Uh, I think Rain of Terror was definitely a good mod, but yeah, when I, w when I was playing Rain of Terror, I felt like... Najamar is slightly yeah, more to fun to me personally, and if I want to play like Diablo 2, I might just want to like play Diablo 2 itself. But I might revisit Reign of Terror as well. I think it's a good mod, generally. I mean, this mod right here, this Diablo 3 class mod, is pretty good as well. I mean, apart from the Diablo 3 classes, you also have some Diablo 3 bosses. At least as far as I know. You really see the interface is a bit different here. A bit more D3-like, I guess. And we are still waiting for the poll to come in. Like for the results of the poll to finish. Uh, when it comes to which class we're gonna pick. So let's just default attack some more enemies here. Not the Reign of Terror. Yeah. No, we're not playing ROT today. I've already played ROT once. I have never played this mod before. But yeah, as I said, like I might revisit ROT as well. Is there any endgame in Grim Dawn similar to Diablo 3 or PoE? Similar to PoE? Mm, maybe not. Because like PoE's endgame is just huge, right? Similar to Diablo 3? Yes, definitely. I mean, Diablo 3 has rifts. Grim Dawn has Shattered Realm. Crown Dawn has dungeons. If you're playing like the season mod, you can like scale it up as well with the boundless dungeons. You have endgame super bosses. I would argue Grim Dawn has more endgame than Diablo 3, honestly. Like, I don't know, what kind of endgame does Diablo 3 even have? It's just rifts, right? Alright, let's check out the results of the poll. Ah, oh, fucking god, you guys, really? What does this poll, dude? I should... Wait, wait, what's going on here? What the fuck is this kind of poll, guys? Demon Hunter, Witch Doctor, and Monk. Huh? Add Crusader? Alright, I'm gonna do another one. Remove the Barb, because Barb lost. And add Crusader instead. You came in late, can't vote. Alright, anybody, everybody here now? Crusader, Wizard, Monk, uh, Demon, Hunter. What's the last one? Witch Doctor, right? Witch Doctor. Alright, let's go. At the top of your chat, you should have a drop down where you can click on to vote for the classes. Starting now. For sure, it won't repeat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Surely. Surely, it won't repeat. Surely.
The other three decks content, it's interesting they have like dozens of seasons in their bag. Nothing ever gets added except for one or new, two new items. Yeah, I mean, I would dare to say we added more content with our last Grim Dawn community season. Like, we added an entire act. I mean, almost an entire act. It's not 100% complete, I would say. It should be completed by season 5, though. And, yeah, like the Boundless Dungeons and so on, like, I don't know. Go Witch Doctor? I mean, vote for it, then. Hopefully chat behaves and make me makes me mold. You guys don't even care like what class I'm gonna play, you just wanna like see me mold over like votes being all the same. All the classes. So yeah, new vote is up. If you have already voted earlier, please revote. Old vote was uh, scuffed. <clears throat> you can't see the vote. Why is why is Twitch always like scuffed, man? I mean, even I can see it, like here, which class to play, right? Here's the chat, which class to play, click here, drop down here and vote here, and... I don't know, it should be showing for you. If you're mobile, I don't know, mobile like sometimes is scuffed, I guess. Mobile is always fucked. He's bad, man. Dude, look at all these classes, holy fuck. You're on desktop, but whatever, it doesn't work for you. That's weird, dude. I don't know. Huh. Smoke room is packed. Does Mogrogan's pet flag give flat physical damage to pets or not? Yes, it does. Alright. The votes are in. Monk, Demon Hunter, Crusader, 8 votes. Alright, I guess we're going Crusader then. This time, this time chat is molding, not me. Okay, what does the Crusader do? It can punish. Strike your weapon with empowered attacks, causing eternal trauma over 3 seconds and increasing your block chance of 5 seconds. Increasing your block chance, eh? Interesting. So this is like a savagery kind of thing, but it gives you block chance. Shield bash. Charge at your enemy, bashing him and nearby foes, dealing holy damage to all of them. Uh, I guess holy damage in this game is just like... I like in Grim Dawn doesn't exist, so it's like fire slash lightning. Or did he like redo Aether to holy or something like that? No. This mod doesn't do it. I think there's another mod that like repurposes Aether damage to like holy or magic or something like that. I think it's a D2 mod. And the third one is Slash. Ignite the air in front of you, dealing fire damage to enemies. Slash can be used as a lethal weapon attack and requires a melee attack. Ah, melee weapon. So it's just like... <laughs> okay, I voted for the worst class and I'm leaving the stream now, bye. Wow. Why are you guys always so toxic, dude? What is this? I mean, honestly, we just try out all of the abilities, right? And then, like, respec, right? Okay, so sla slash. It just slashes, okay. Punish. Literally the same, but has, like, a different effect here. This is, like, a physical effect, I guess. But for some reason, it looks more like magic, like, more like cold. Um, slash, fire. 
I mean, the weapon itself is like a blue effect, right? Okay, okay. And then we have Shield Bash. Which needs a shield. Alright. Makes sense. Shashi Shadow, Workman, Workman. Templar Ice Crash cosplay. Alright, we need to find a shield to check out the last protein. Is the Diablo 3 OST good, by the way? Maybe we should like put on Diablo 3 music. Where did, I, where did I download this mod? Exclamation point Diablo 3. Play it and find out. Okay, so... I mean, this is literally just fire damage, and this is like... I mean, right now the other one is better, right? Punish is better. Punish and shield burst, but I need a shield. Okay. Do I put more points into these skills? I mean, I should, right? Like, what the fuck am I doing? <coughs> It also, we could also check out some other skills here. What are those? Shield Glare requires a shield. Shield Glare reduces all resistance, resistances of enemies by 25 for 5 seconds. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Um, these Diablo 3 classes have like special skills that I unlock like whenever you stop Captain, right? Like for example, this one has 25 flat RR at, 20, at 10 points, right? Um, and by itself it has like DA and Fumble and Impaired Aim, right? This one has 20% rata, but only at 16 points, before that you have 0. This one increases health regen by 100%. And this one gives it a 35% crit damage at 16 points. This, uh, this one only adds classes, no different content. There are, I believe, like different bosses as well. It might be only in Shield Ram though, I am not quite sure. Yo, oh, GG, workman, workman. This mod is not quite as extensive as the Diablo 2 mod, the Reign of Terror mod. But from my understanding, the classes are generally better balanced uh, than the Diablo 2. Um, there is Justice. Heard a hammer of Justice as it travels in a straight line. Alright, that's try that one, I guess. Hammer of Justice. Alright. That works, I guess. Is there... yeah, there is Grim Tools for this mod as well. There is actually Grim Tools support for this mod as well. Like for the classes at least. Like for the build calc. And the items. I mean, the this has like tons of new items as well, of course, for all the classes. Like rings plus one all skills. I think those were in Dawn of Masteries. <laughs> Not in this mod. Pretty sure the items here are more balanced. But we'll see. We shall see. Maybe I get some new items at some point. Okay, I mean, so far the skill seems a bit... I mean, it looks cool visually. But it's just Panathes, right? I mean, it's Panathes, but more single target damage, I guess. Yo, Kravos, Happy New Year to you. Yeah, 
Yeah, and in the freaking Dawn of Masters, you even have like. Uh, you even have, what's it called? Like, components with plus one all skills. That's how, like, ridiculous that mod is. I kinda still wanna, like, try a shield, but I didn't get a shield so far. When I had a shield at the start, but I threw it away. Whoops. Plus 12 to all skills is normal. Yeah. So the second node would give me AoE here, but it's at 20 points deep in. And then we have Holy Balls, the hammer turns into a ball of Holy Power that converts portion of the damage dealt to your health. Converts physical to fire and has leech. Deals additional damage to Chthonians and Undead. Okay. It's like a transmitter, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, this skill seems really good later on. Like armor and health. I mean, the flat armor is not bad for leveling either, honestly. Out of mana, holy shit. Uh, what do I do now? <laughs> Default attack, pog. I could go back and buy some pots, I guess. <clears throat> Let's do that. Campaign is just like Rum Dawn. Uh, for now, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. the campaign is just like Rum Dawn. There is. There are, like, additional bosses from Diablo 3, as far as I know, though. They should have reworked the campaign. You know, this is like a one guy mode, right? I mean, Ninja Mar is almost pretty much a one-guy mod as well, though. Uh, but Ninja Mar is just like an entirely different world. And I'm also testing this to like see how how the classes are made, how the items look like, once we find some items. Just put a rift up in Devil's Crossing and level up like D3. Like only running rifts, adventure mode. Godly Plate of the Whale. I mean, that's not a Diablo Immortal mode.
Nidia Mar also has, um, I think, an update compared to like last time I played it. I mean, definitely, like, he added some new maps, I think. And also, he added, like, he made the maps look like Rondon maps as well. Because, uh, I mean, we were doing it together, like, him and me were doing it together. The mod creator of Nidia Mar and me were doing it together for the season. <clears throat> so, then he knew, like, how to do it for his mod as well. Alright, so far, doesn't seem like we're getting any new items. But I mean, I'm barely getting like any items at all, so. I feel like the skill deals more damage to my energy than to the enemy. <laughs> you might not like it, but this is how Diablo 3 looked at its peak. I have 9 freaking points in that skill and it deals still like no damage. Farewell. Let's try another skill then. Plus five targets. Okay. I mean, okay. Let me clear your mind of regret. Get spinny hammers. Oh, there's spinny hammers over here, right? Farewell. Oh wait, no, one point here was good. Yeah, let's try spinny hammers. Seven six plus hammers will spin around you for over eight seconds, leading holy damage, like fire lighting damage. <laughs> Avoid entering or leaving zones such as caves and gates while blast hammer is active otherwise you won't be able to recast it huh yo the rift looks different it's blue that's quite a feature that is quite a feature indeed Oh look, the portal actually looks different. That's pretty cool. A better code rigs evil eye. I mean <laughs> it's certainly better than the other one. <laughs> Yeah, I wonder what kind of template this is. Like this skill is. Yo, yeah, Sora Star, Wokman, Wokman. And it has it has a hundred percent pass through and it has no cooldown. Guardian's Gaze Devotion. Six projectiles. It's interesting. Okay. I'm gonna do it anyway, right? I'm gonna enter the cave now. 
Now the skill is blocked forever. Nice. No, it works here. The skill is stuck in the last area, okay. <laughs> and now it works again, okay. That's funny. You have to like, wait for it. Argo set on top. Now I really wonder like what kind of template this is. This is not like the same as Cold Reek's Lie. Because you can't... <clears throat> you can't like get more than 6, you always just have 6. Targo Devotion. I don't think so, no. But maybe. Yeah, yeah the, the model is like that, but the model doesn't have to do anything with like what kind of skill template it's using. Should do this, measure rings, guardians, gaze, devotion, targets, hammer, rings, evil eye hammer. <laughs> it is the same template as what? Yo, welcome in Grimer. Welcome in Mr. Mod Creator. Uh, the same template as what? As Korak? Or as Targo Devotion? But it spawns six at once. What prevents you from like recasting it then? The engine itself? So it's basically the template, yeah. Because in other skills like this, like the, the ones I try to list, it's not like that. But yeah. Why does this one bug out then with like dungeon entrances when Targo's hammer doesn't? DMI support Diablo 3 classes now? Pog. That's pretty nice. Did you make uh, affixes for the classes as well? You know, like how there's soldiers prefix giving you like random like soldier. Uh, like soldier skills and so on. And you can spin hammer naked, so you can also spin it with a gun. I'm pretty sure.
Oh, to pause? Monkos. There we go. <clears throat> There's green affixes. Oh, nice. Just activate your skills and run through enemies, the auto 3 build. Laws of Valor, exclusive skill. Oh yeah, all the laws are exclusive of Valor, of Justice and of Hope. Okay. Oh, hello. Like the Kazakh skull I sold? Yeah, shit. Oh, this one doesn't. How's Crusader and Soldier named? You already know what's broken. <laughs> Blitz and hammers. Oh, dude, wire smite and hammers. Monka. Move along now. Sir. Gonna lunch. All right then. Enjoy your lunch. Wait, did I side with Duncan? Ah, oh, whatever. Duncan donuts. What does smite do? Chain lightning, pog you. Fire lightning crit. Cast the crusader, what the fuck? It smites them? Ah, uh, let's see. I should like stop looking at yellows because of loot explosion totems. Sure, wait, these were movement speed, right? Yeah. Seem more powerful than the original classes? Mm, I would say it's kinda like too early to tell. I mean if you're playing like a 16 or 16, like a fully maxed cocktail, it's like gonna one shot everything as well. I'm a bit overleveled I feel like right now for this for this area. So like I mean I'm gonna be powerful for sure. Okay, what does it do at uh, 16 points? Gains 10% chance to stun enemies. Alright.
10% chance to stun enemies. With six hammers hitting like three times each. That seems like you stun a lot. It stuns for two seconds. 10% chance to do nothing on the boss, yeah. That's also true. I mean if you're playing cocktail like it's 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 no 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 easier I mean no harder than this. Right, it's the same. Walking simulator build. It's like an aura build, but different. I really feel like right now... Something like... A... Yeah, like a, like a blitz would be so nice now. Any kind of movement. Crusader have steed? I don't think it does, no. I mean, that's, that's basically like shape-shifting as well. Summoning the steed unit. It's not something you can do easily in this engine. I think it might be actually possible, but... Pretty hard, nevertheless. I found a forgotten soul. Used by the blacksmith in Diablo's Crossing to craft Diablo 3 items. <coughs> How you? Do we have to find the blueprints first, or...? Hmm. It probably like, depends on the power of the item. If he's a crusader in Cairn where Jerusalem never existed, how the fuck can he be a crusader? I mean... Well, I'll be. Does Jerusalem exist in, in the other three? How do I have no pants, dude?
Wait, wait, Diablo 3 has pants though, right? You actually have Diablo 3, like, pants in Diablo 3. I think we just put on some Diablo 3 OST. <coughs> to be properly immersed. Throw away these. These might be actually alright on this class. Maybe. I guess those are some pants. What? How the fuck am I getting a Bartholomew Scavo from this totem? Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark? Like, no affixes? <clears throat> but it gives me like, plus 4 to blast hammer. 8 second duration to blast hammer, weapon damage, lightning to fire to blast hammer. What? It has been defeated. <laughs> Alright, so these are the normal hammers. <clears throat> and these are the fire hammers. I mean, I like the theme, but why the fuck do I get a random Bartholomew from the from the from the totem? It seems a little bit OP, like getting it at the next one. It seems slightly overpowered. Yeah, move to build. Oh my god. I didn't wait for it to finish in the first area. Ah, uh, you know what's annoying? Because of like, plus 8 second duration on Blast Hammer, I have to like, wait even longer now before going inside here. Just need to zoom now, so I can zoom and one-shot the screen. We're playing Path of Exile, yep. I mean, just need wire smite, right? Just re-equip the hammer, that doesn't actually stop it. As you can see. I mean, maybe it does. Wow. Now I have like two with the hammer and four without the hammer. Well, that's funny. But these two last longer. <laughs> These two last 8 seconds longer than the other 4. Uh, okay. Now 
that's also funny. Mods don't change the campaign. I mean, some do. The Reign of Terror mod does, the Nidia Mar mod does. Uh, the Season mod adds, like, a new act. Uh, this mod right here doesn't really change the campaign. I mean, it changes items that can drop, it changes, like, classes you can play, and it changes... Um... Why the fuck is this so loud, dude? Holy shit. And it, it does change some enemies as well, like, it adds some, like, enemies from Diablo 3 as well at some point. As far as I know. <clears throat> But I haven't gotten there yet. Requires a shield. At 10 points here, you remove the physique requirements to wield one-handed melee weapons, allows you to use in your main hand special two-handed melee weapons crafted by Heldrake, the new blacksmith in Devil's Crossing. <coughs> right, this is how you can one-hand two-handers on this class. With a shield. Interesting. Uh, try without the space right here, welcome on. Yeah. Without the space. Another savage choice being active in chat after an all-nighter. And it sounds like you had some fun on Christmas, I mean on Christmas on New Year's Eve. That's good. There's a D3 mod, or it was D2. Um, the D3 mod... ...doesn't, like, make, uh, have a new campaign. It's not quite as extensive of a, like, mod. But it does have new, like, all the classes. It does have, like, some... ...visual changes here and there. It does have new items. It does have some new bosses. So, it also does have, like, plenty of content. And also, like, modifiers on um, existing, like, f on existing, like, new modifiers on existing items for the new classes. What's I? Why did I port back there? It's so weird. Like, why did I not just get the portal and then port back? Did you get perfect? Well, since I did.
Alright, second part will add burn damage. And this weapon gives me more burn damage on this guy as well. <coughs> Yo, Hank the Tank, welcome in, welcome in. The burn should stack from each hammer. I don't think so. I actually don't think so. Ah, it's kind of hard to tell, like I'm just one-shotting everything anyway right now. <laughs> <coughs> Wonder how good this mod is for actually endgame farming. It has the same power levels. The same power levels as uh, Norman Grim Dawn or... Diablo 3, you mean? Wait, what kind of power levels does Grimdon have? Yo, Freddy, welcome in. Happy New Year. Maybe I'm like misunderstanding what you mean by power levels in this case. Okay, I'm pretty sure this burn damage, at least right now, is com kind of weak compared to the skill itself. Well. Is this extra D3 mod or just out of Mastery's D3 classes? Um, this is the actual D3 mod, but it doesn't have, like, new maps or something like that. Diablo, um, I mean, Dawn of Masteries good work. There have been war has been using the class from this mod in their, like, Dawn of Masteries um, <clears throat> mod. So what this, uh, like, mod does mostly is it adds the Diablo 3 classes and it adds, like, Diablo 3 items as well as bosses from Diablo 3 as well. And, like, it adds modifiers for the classes, like, supporting them and so on and so on, of course. Like, on affixes, on existing items and new items. I don't... I didn't even have, like, a single devotion yet. What am I doing? Um... Okay, so, I mean, the skill has percent weapon damage. <clears throat> so I could heal easily with Ghoul. I guess. Should also probably pick up something like Jackal, and then I like, go for Witchblade. Or... Maybe I play Flame Torrent? I don't know. I mean, nothing's gonna beat this hammer, I feel like, for a very long time. <laughs> okay, this damage is just like, just like ridiculous right now. It's it's not not only the skill. 
but there's also the fact that he, I don't know how, managed to be like super lucky and get the monster frequent for the skill from a totem. Um, Consecration. Uh, consecrate the ground around you for 6 seconds, dealing fire and lightning damage, reducing the offensive ability and damage of all enemies standing inside it. That seems pretty good. Unleash a massive explosion, dealing physical and lightning damage, and a portion of your retaliation damage as damage to all enemies around you. Okay. Reduce target's resistances. Yeah, well, Consecration seems OP. I guess. Oh, that's kinda cool. I feel like it's kind of missing a sound effect though, like there was the second you like smack the ground. It would be nice if it had like a sound effect there. I mean, you kind of only want to use this against bosses, right? Nothing, never else. Honestly, I'm gonna put on Veteran right now, because uh, my damage is way too OP. Let's play Veteran. Can I pick a second class? Yeah, yeah, you can. You can play dual class. You can play like Crusader, Barb, Crusader, Oathkeeper, Crusader, Soldier. I mean... Something like Crusader Oathkeeper is probably OP as fuck. <laughs> Minus 420k trash can man, holy shit. Happy New Year. Happy VIP, I guess. <coughs> How many more VIPs can I even have? I don't even know. Crash cam man. Okay, I have 13 out of 60 VIPs right now. I can only have 47 more. And then I can also like add 5 artists. I don't know what an artist is. Wait, can I just add Toma? As an artist. Dude, what the fuck is this? I got it from a fucking like totem as a random drop without affixes. And it's ridiculously OP, obviously, because I mean skin modifier and so on, you know? Like for act one, this is ridiculously OP. Why can't it even drop from totems? I mean... It's interesting. I'm already playing veteran instead of like one-shotting everything, okay. I mean... With this item I guess it's even more OP. Something is messed up. Yeah, so somehow... MIs are in the loot table for totems. I got it. I didn't get it from the monsters from the totem, I got it from the totem itself.
Yeah, you can mix the Diablo 3 and the Grand Dawn classes as well. Yep. I know you heard the balancing of this mod is awful. <laughs> I mean, I would I would disagree, but then again, I just got this item from a totem, which apparently shouldn't happen. And of course, with this item, <laughs> the game now is pretty much easy mode. But <laughs> Welcome in, Torrent Man. Happy New Year, by the way. Also, Consecration just seems like a really, really cool skill. Um, I feel like there should be a sound effect though when you slam the ground. That would be cooler. Throw it away, pretend it never happened. <laughs> uh, unethical weapon deleted. Alright, let's delete it then. Uh, I mean, I got it though, like, what do you mean? Throw it away. Delete the character, clear the unethical. <laughs> I mean, now I know though that this item exists. I just play without pants and without weapon, that's fine. The skill is good enough anyway. Yeah, I'm not like... I need like a couple more hits now. By the way, I was I was thinking about the skill where we, while you were like eating lunch. What if you make it like a toggle, like an aura? Does it work? No, right, that's kind of hard, maybe. I'm just like thinking about like how you... Like why does the problem exist that like... Uh, you know, when you go to like a new area, like it disappears, or like you can't re... Recast it, like wh why is it like now? That seems weird. It has to have a duration. Okay. <coughs> It doesn't tell the duration, right? I mean, if it's not showing the duration on the skill... You could just make it, like, infinite. I mean, I, I made, like, a skin modifier that, like, adds... 5 hours to Wind Devils or something like that. I mean, you're not gonna, like, play for longer than 5 hours in one session, I guess. Or, like, 15 hours. I guess some people like play for more than 5 hours, but like you could add like 15 hours or something like that, or like 20 hours. <clears throat> but I mean that doesn't solve the issue with like going into areas. Like if you if you go to the like if you go to another area and the skill has like 5 hour duration, you would have to like wait 5 hours until you can enter a new area. So that's not like a solution either. So it's like it's like a template problem then. Like this particular template has uh, the problem that like it needs to finish the skill in area one before you can go to area number two. Yeah, I mean this one was like that's kind of funny, right? Like what I also tried. Like when you have this item, right? You cast the ability and then you remove the item, right? Now you have like, for example, one fire hammer and five lightning hammers. And the lightning hammers obviously are gonna expire earlier than the fire hammer because this one added duration, so now you have like one single fire hammer. <laughs> That's kinda, kinda funny. I 
I mean, the game like still summons them, like, w the character casts once, but the hammers are still like summoned one after the other. Also, if you move, wait, wait, how do you have to move? You gotta move like this, right? Yeah, if you like circle around to the right while summoning it, you will have like a burst of hammers, right? Like, burst, burst, right? So you summon it and then you walk, you walk right, right? Then you have like all in one place. Uh, that's funny. Shit, that turned too quickly, I think. Yeah, it always summons in front of the character, exactly, because like always projectiles are summoned in front of the character. Yep. It's kind of funny. Uh, I'm dying. Maybe the skill isn't that OP after all. It's just good for AoE early. Still melee as well. And without the unethical item drop. That seems a lot more balanced. I should run... Yeah, 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 like when I summon, I should run like this. To have them all like more or less in one place. And then I run counter cock lock while it's around him, yeah. Yeah, exactly. I'll give you a good price for what I've got left. I will spend. Yo, Cody does welcome on. When skill barbs warband. So you before. Yeah, I I assume this is like a skill like if you max it out in Act One. I mean, any skill that has like a we in Act One. Oh, hello, Hed Hedrick. Has a uh, it's like ridiculous, right? Okay, so this guy, we can extract legendary. Modifiers from items, right? Into relics. So you can have like a relic with like a skill modifier from the item. That's kind of cool. And then also you can craft the Crusaders one handers here, right? These are all like one handed versions of two handers. You can craft cosmetic wings. Uh, wait a minute. How does this work again? It's a metal. And you have components, veins of the powerful, of the stricken, of the trapped. Hold for second class? Uh, yeah, you will get one. Should you play another Diablo 3 class, a secondary or a Grimdorn class? Don't get killed. 
Better. And now I have all three wings at once. Yikes. Um, well, that's kind of weird. <laughs> How does this even work? How did you guys make this work? I mean, okay, yeah, yeah, like, like the model and the animation. Like, that's like Okami's magic, right? Like, importing the model and so on and so on. How does the item work, though? Like, what does it... Okay, I mean that's what I thought. But like, can you can you make an item add a mesh effects to a char file, like to anything? Interesting. <clears throat> or does it like overwrite the character? Is it like a? Is it like a? Um... Wait, no. Just add the effect on it. Season 5 of the Mighty Crow turns action for wings. <laughs> it's a consumable buff. Oh, he did it all? Like, he did all of it? I mean, yeah, yeah, it's a consumable buff. Wait, so... Yeah, yeah, it just, uh, just works like... Like a pot, yeah. And then instead of the pot FX, it adds these wings as an effect instead. It's not even like a model, it's just an effect, right? I mean, the effects do have models sometimes. This one looks like it doesn't have a mesh, right? This is just like an effect. Like it's a... planar effect, it doesn't really have like any 3D to it. But the, the demonic wings, they have like an actual 3D model, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think so too. Makes sense. Yeah, this, has, this one has an actual model to it. Alright, so we are a, a demonic crusader now, emerged and ruined in multiple ways. <laughs> ah, I cannot speak of Dude, every time I'm speaking to this guy I think like somebody's following my stream. Look. I mean, okay, you, you can, you can, like, kind of, you know, add cosmetic effects, of course, but, like, pseudo-pots. I mean, these are pots, basically, right? Like, pots that don't consume, aren't being consumed. Yeah, these, these fit a lot, a lot more when you're like playing maybe like an Octotus or like a Necro, you know. Can make buff items that way as well. Yeah, yeah, you can add like cosmetic effects like this to like items. And, I mean, it's just like an aura, like, I mean, there are items in the game that have auras already. It's the same as an aura, like, just like an aura, basically.
But like this one with the animation on top, dude, like, it's crazy. Wings everywhere. I mean, that's like a Diablo 3 thing, right? That's just what it is. Who drew he got stabbed and first falsely accused? Yeah. Sure. They're trying to just power level a charge, you recommend pointing mobs on the way to objectives or just rush quests? Mm. I would say generally you you can I mean you skip like single mobs and you fight bigger packs there. I mean, generally, you just like fight whatever doesn't make you stand still too long. Which is why skills that allow you to like basically like throw an ability once and then like run around, like Cocktail, for example, like if you're playing a Devolutionist, right? And you can just like put down motor traps, so you can just like throw a cocktail and like co continue walking towards your quest. Those are like one of the best like leveling abilities. Apart from of course like movement abilities like Shadow Strike and Blitz and Virus Might. Um, I mean those aren't like necessarily that good for damage. Um, <clears throat> I mean they are actually kind of. Where is his, lo his daughter? And his daughter only... Ah, oh, fuck, I didn't... This is so weird. <clears throat> this is really a weird, a weird part about the skill. Like, this is so clunky, unfortunately. Alright, monster frequent. Physical damage to weapon throw. Alright. That is a barb skill. I'm pretty sure. You like this mod, but you thought Reign of Terror is better? I mean, Reign of Terror is just a bigger mod, right? Like, it, it, it uh, I mean, it has a different campaign, right? I mean, this mod just adds, I mean, just a quotation mark. This mod is still like tons of content. This mod adds like the Diablo 3 items, Diablo 3 castles, Diablo 3 bosses. Whereas the Reign of Terror mod does that as well for Diablo 2, and on top of that, like changes the campaign to like the Diablo 2 campaign basically. Like it emulates Diablo 2 inside of Grim Dawn. Which is, well, a more extensive mod than this. At least when I played the last time, Reign of Terror though, I feel like the balance was uh, not that good. But I mean, I feel like Diablo 2 balance is also kind of garbage, so. 
and in the mod it's gonna be tech like generally even worse. Oh yeah, uh, Ray of Terror also adds Diablo 1 as like a uh, Act 6 or something like that. <clears throat> it's been improved a lot since the last time I played it. Hmm. Rain of Terror has Diablo 3 damage numbers. Maybe. Now you have my interest. <laughs> Billions of damage. Your bar Barbazon had 5 million DPS. Yeah, I feel like the D2 classes are just like way stronger than the Grandon classes in that mod. <coughs> that was my experience as well. Should probably go and craft some poison rust, maybe. Zero percent is a bit low. Uber bot had like one billion health. All right. Items mostly, okay. I got a shield now. Maybe we should finally try out some of those shield skills. Finally we got pants, yeah. <laughs> that too. I'll give you a good price on what I've got left. See you around. Right, well, you had physical resistance on a component on this game. Which honestly is early game not that strong, but later on it might be <coughs> like really strong. You have to put it where though? You have to put it in the chest only. Okay. I mean that might be balanced. No way. Got any more scrap metal? Um, antivenom solve.
That's due to Phalanx. Don't get killed out there. Summon five avatars to fight by your side for ten seconds. It's like guardians. Like temporary guardians in a way. Seems like. Spin Grand Donald's crazy and a normal campaign at level 90? What the fuck? But he did 65 shards in a Shadow Realm. Well, yeah, that probably explains it. Farewell. Indestructible. When you receive fatal damage, you instead become immune to any harm. Right, this is Diablo 3. Uh, the other three circuit breakers, right? 100% damage absorbed for 4 seconds, just take no damage, yeah. Okay. That sounds a bit OP, maybe. I mean, it might be like, you know, fine in the other three, but like in Grim Dawn, it's just ridiculous. So I wanted to check out the shield skills here. Ah, oh, this one is OP, right? This is like better from Fighting Quest. Oh wait, no, it's more like Blitz actually. That's cool. And then what does Shield Cross? <coughs> Yo, this is actually pretty sick. Like, it looks cool. Dealing retaliation damage and holy damage to all enemies it passes through. Oh wait wait, so it adds burn damage and crit damage blah blah, blah to the initial skill. And then also it adds the shield cross like celestial power in quotation marks on top, which has like fire, lightning and retail damage. And those are like the actual shields here. Alright, 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 alright. Commentary so far, it sounds a bit OP. I mean, for the work of one... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, this is uh, mostly the work of one person. The the models, Keep your like, for example, from the wings and so on, those have been done by Okami as far as I know. Oh, yeah, we also have... Uh, but all the other, like, class design, etc. has been done by Grimer, and that's amazing. But I mean, balancing is always a thing of also like, you know, the more people play and give feedback, the better the balance is gonna be. If nobody's playing this, I mean, it's kind of hard to like balance stuff for like one person alone. Yeah, every time you add one single class, right, you would need to test all iterations. If you care about, like, you know, it being, like, properly balanced, you would have to, like, test it with Oathkeeper, Necro, Inquisitor, Shaman, Arcana, Snipe Blade, blah, 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 right? And you would have to, like, test all the items and everything, right? It's... I mean, there's a reason why there is no additional Grim Dawn expansion, right? Because Crate said, well, if we make another expansion, we want to add at least one class. And if we add one class, I mean, it's basically like, at this point, if you add one class, right, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine classes that have been ad being added. Uh, with like, one mastery. So, it is, it is like a lot of work. Like, if you wanted to like, if you want to like, get it 
right when it comes to balance as well. If you don't care about balance too much, I mean... You can just leave it as it is, it's fine. I mean, balance is, in these kind of games, not always necessary, to be honest. Circuit Breakers are D3 mark. Yeah, also that's the next thing, like like many people, when they play a character in an ARPG, they get attached they get attached to the character. So even though they might like know deep down inside like the character is OP as fuck. They're gonna be like, nah, I don't want it actually nerfed or something like that, right? So it's uh, <clears throat> it's kind of hard to get like ob actual like objective feedback sometimes as well. <coughs> All right, are we strong enough to kill Aldric, or is he just gonna slap us? This is like a. 4 second duration, 50% absorption. It's like a mirror, right? But it has 1 second additional duration, but like... Half the absorption. Fire damage to elemental strike, fist to fire to elemental strike. That's I guess like an like a demon hunter ability maybe? Or maybe from What's it called? The mage, the wizard class. Okay, this skill, for example, Iron Skin, right? Looks really cool, has a cool sound effect, in my opinion. Shield Bash. Perfect. Consecration, as I said, it needs like some kind of smack sound when it hits the ground, in my opinion. This skill... Mm, seems fine to me as well. I'm not sure if it's the right sound effect, but at least it has a sound effect. I'm being like overly critical here, by the way, like, I mean... I know how much work this is, this is crazy. Um, but yeah, I, I... I do want to be rather critical than not, because... That's, I think, the best way, like, the best kind of feedback... For when it comes to, like, knowing what to improve on as a modder. That's creation's missing one, indeed, yeah. I mean, the sound of this is amazing. Iron skin, like, it has sound, the visuals of the buff is great. Like, look at this, this is so good. Like, and then you have also, like, all these, like, blades swirling around you. Like, holy shit, that's perfect. Um, looks pretty good, in my opinion. First rule of OP skills is you don't talk about OP skills. Yeah, if you don't don't actually care about the balance of the game and you rather just want your character to be OP, then you don't talk about that, yeah. Feedback on Discord was like, people celebrating how a skill was OP, and you secretly read it and nerfed it later. I mean... As 
as like backstabby as that sounds, right? As a developer, you kind of have to do that if you want your product to be objectively better in the end. Even though like people, some people are gonna be like pissed off, right? Uh, when it when it comes to these kind of circuit breakers, right? I mean, you have to compare them to to something like um, Mark of Divinity, right? I don't know what the cooldown of Mark of Divinity is right now, but it, I would say generally they should be weaker than Mark of Divinity, right? Or like Defy Death or something like that, whatever it's called. Whatever they are called. And I don't know, like, do all Diablo 3 classes have these kind of abilities? They all have it, right? Yo, Happy New Year, Zempa. Welcome on, welcome on. Hope you think is take the fun away. The fun on it is fear your character getting stronger with levels and items. If it's strong since the beginning, then what? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah, you, you need you need good progression and balance in these kind of games. Otherwise, it's just kind of you know. <coughs> and. What, like, if you want it to be... This is a new item, by the way. Moonlight Ward. Plus one to Wizard. Alright, cool, cool. If you want... Um, I feel like some of these abilities as well, like, in some of the classes, I mean... Maybe the same rule would be true for also, like, some of the Grim Dawn classes. Is that you might want... Because of, like, how skills in Grim Dawn work, right? How easily you can, like, for example, just max out Blast Hammer. You just, like, rush Blast Hammer and max it out, right? I mean, now it doesn't even, like, feel that good anymore, though. But, like, when I maxed it out in Act 1, it was like, holy, this is so good, right? Like, so much damage. Um, but, I mean, some skills are just like that, right? Like, they are really good at a certain point, and then they're just not anymore. Yeah, it was maybe, yeah, in the end, I think it wasn't even like, yeah, it was maybe like slightly better than rushing BBC, right? But it's also melee, yeah. And, I mean, it has like some clunkiness attached to it, unfortunately. I think that's like the actual problem with the skill. Like, uh, I mean, you explain it in the skill description, like, avoid entering or leaving zones such as caves and gates while Blast Hammer is active, otherwise you won't be able to recast it. But it's still like... Why does it even need... I don't know. It kind of feels weird. <laughs> Unfortunately. Yeah, yeah, justice early sucks, right? Like, I noticed that really quickly. Like, it's just... I mean, maybe once you have burst, it's fine. But, like, the skill itself early... Sure. I mean, you can play, like, Blessed Hammer and then maybe, like, justice on top for, like, single target. If you want to, like, go, like, full hammer. But it's also like soaking energy like crazy. When soft caps, it becomes like the Nati at least. Yeah, true. That's another like cool, cool thing with like these skills from these masteries. Like once you soft cap them, you gain like an additional power. That's something that Grimdon classes don't do. I mean, also like looking at the scaling of these skills. Um, I feel like many of the skills. I mean, maybe I'm talking to. I mean, I'm definitely talking to soon here. I should probably like check them out in Grim Tools. I mean, there is Grim Tools support support for this mod already, so. 
it might be worth like checking out all the, you know, like sweet spots and so on. All the skills. Cause then you get also like a different like look at things and uh, like a different view point on skills. And then you might also like understand better like which skills are OP and oh like underpowered at which state of the game and so on. By the way, I mean, I, I played your Masters at some point, like Ninja Marmot, like some some months or even like years ago by now. Does Barb have a jump? Barb has a jump, right? Or does it not? Yeah. Bl blessed Hammers. Probably one of the hardest skills to balance. I agree. The main issue is like with the skill template though, right? What's a skill template? It's, uh, the, the game has, the game, like, the game engine basically has a list of templates, like, a list of skill types, basically, that you can create, like, mechanic-wise, that you can create in this game. And every skill uses, like, a certain skill template. Um, like, for example, a target the enemy and charge to skill, like, shield bash, or... Throw a projectile like Justice, which is the same as like Dreaks Evil Eye when like template wise. Or Panetti's, they, they're the same. And then this one has a template of this devotion skill, I think. I mean, that's what Mr. Mod Creator said himself. So, I mean, that should be the truth. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, but I mean, this is like a devotion skill, which usually, like, is getting, like, you know, you get it when you're blocking passively, and now it's an active skill, so it has, like, it's, it's cool, but it has, like, different issues now. I mean, there's probably, like, a reason why base Grim Dawn didn't ever like use the skill template in this way at least um, for an active skill in the game because if you use it as an active skill it has the issues that we are now facing They're like misusing the template. I mean, with many skills, you can usually like use them as like a passive or an active skill. But with this one, I mean, at least the way it's being used right here in this mod, it, it does have some issues. Or I mean, rather, it has one issue. It has the issue of not being like recastable when you like enter a different zone while the skill was already active in the first zone. Which is one of the weirdest issues I've ever seen, like... I, I still didn't properly understand why it's like that, honestly. That's why even with Oathkeeper it's a proc. Right, yeah, yeah. Soulfire works the same, it's the same template I guess, or like Korok for example, Korok Devotion is the same template as well I assume.
Okay, here we have a uh, Diablo 3 prefix joint, Pathfinders. Uh, Pathfinders, some combination of two classes of some of the Diablo 3 classes. I don't know which ones though. Apparently no Crusader combination. It also adds bonus poison for us and OA. Alright. Barbok, Barbarian Monk. Pathfinder, all right. The Barbonk. Wouldn't it be nice to have a ladder in seasons like other games of this genre? I mean, you just missed season 4 with a ladder and client and global chat. It ended like 17th of December. But yeah, there's no like official leaks, it's all like community based. But I mean, it's still basically the same thing. Will there be a season 5? Yes, this year. This current year. <clears throat> well, the wolf dead now. What brings you to my forge? Now we can randomly craft one the other three item, right? If we want. And I got the fucking same item that I already have. Yikes. Unlucky, I guess. Unlucky. <coughs> Two patches ago it was annoying because you had to keep spamming all six. Come, friend. But it didn't have the cave issue. Yeah, that's how... Um, I don't know if you've played the Community Season League uh, mod at some point. But I made an item there that converts... Um, Dreek's Evil Eye to spin around you as well. With core damage. And it works like that there as well, like you have to recast them. Uh, like you have to like cast six times. And then you don't have the issue, yeah. I'm not sure, I mean, it's probably like a different template, right? I don't have enough scrap for this. Crap. Yo, Elias, welcome on. I'm doing good, how about you? Happy New Year. Wasn't there like physical resistance somewhere here? Oh, there's laws of justice though, that's pretty OP. At least right now. Hope? Mm, there is no hope in me finding the ability. The heart. Ah, right. At, at soft cap, you get twelve percent fizzles. Right, 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 right. Wait, is an aura that has flat absorptions? So it's like permanent ascension. Oof.
I mean, I assume the values are lower than, than on Ascension or Steel. I mean, they have to be. <laughs> Oh my god, I forgot my skill. I, got, I forgot my skill outside. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know about the skill template, man. At least it, like, it would trigger me a lot. That's for sure. Like, I rather would cast it like six times myself and then put like duration higher, you know? So that you have, only have to like cast it six times like once every... I don't know, like, less often than right now, but you have to, like, cast it six times. At least that's how I would personally prefer it. That's, like, up for debate, of course. ZDPS, lol? Yeah, right now it's kinda ZDPS. Am I watching Quinn? <laughs> I mean, I know that I wanna farm Bartholom for the hammer if I wanna keep playing this ability at least. <clears throat> but maybe I should play something else, like for single target. And only like use consecration for AoE. And I could try like the punish line now or like this line down here. This is retaliation though. I don't know about that. Or maybe like one point phalanx now as well. And then I have that as like additional burst for single target. That might work. Like, AoE is fine, right? It's just, like, I have no single target. Oh wait, how good is the skating on this? Maybe the skating is good on that one as well. This is only offhand damage, right? It doesn't even, like, add your main hand like Blitz does. I feel like the numbers on this might be too low. I don't know how the scaling is. Fifteen percent per level. Uh, what is fifteen times fifteen? That's like one hundred and eighty percent. So then it's like three hundred percent. We'd have to compare it to something like Aegis, right? Aegis is also only shield. But I think Aegis has like up to 500% or something like that. At least on hard cap. So what am I doing? Why am I not getting like a moving ability from Forgotten Gods, guys? What am I doing? Dying Hermit's leg guards. There it is. <clears throat> Honestly, Crusader feels very. Very oathkeepery. Maybe even more like shield focused. I mean, damage type wise, right? It's like. F I mean, okay, it's more lightning damage though than fire damage focused. <coughs> I should, I should really like go to Act 7. I guess once I have the Broken Hills portal here. Yeah. Which 
is paired with Oathkeeper. I mean, I can see that being like a really strong combination, for sure. I again forgot my skill outside. Fuck me. I don't have a skill, guys. Please have mercy. Don't kill me. I can only consecrate the ground now. And run around. Oh, it works again. Pog. I guess you have to like wait for the duration to like end outside before being able to recast it inside. Assume that's how it works. You would have to count the seconds. How, is how long is the base duration? Like, it doesn't say, right? Um, 8 seconds, right, is base duration. So let's cast it now, All right, go outside, and then count like to 8, right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, yeah, that's, yeah, that's the issue, right? Buff, <clears throat> like... that adds duration to the skill makes the problem worse right now. Like the hammer, for example, Bartholomew's hammer, that like... adds a... Hello? Hello? That was weird. What the fuck? Mike is cutting in and out. Yeah, wait, give me a second. Uh, that was really weird. <clears throat> Let's try this filter instead, maybe. It might pick up more sun. What the fuck? It cut off again, right? What the fuck? Alright, maybe we try this one. Maybe we try this setting. New censorship level. Is this too loud now? No, no, it's not it's not Twitch, it's actually my mic. Yo, Lime as welcome on, happy new year. When I feel like you're about to say dumb shit, I have to mute your mic. Beep. Beep boop. Yeah, now we know a lot of Mace is behind all of this.
mic stopped working after leaving the cave. Okay, so <clears throat> what I was saying with the cave, right? It is it is exactly eight seconds, right? So um Let's just try out all these skulls, right? Okay, there's Tempest. Monka. Yo, where are these models from? Whoa, wait, it's just in-game player models? With uh, Diablo 3 in game gear, I guess. Ring of Steel, though? I mean, it's like Ring of Steel. Am I gonna pull a full time PvE 2 streamer when it's out? No, I don't know, man. <clears throat> So, if it's if PUE 2 is less zoomy than PUE 1, maybe. Chosen skier. Oh, it's um. What's it called? The blue set. Hey, what do you mean? What chosen gear? The emissary. And to me it looks like... Oh my god, what is it called, man? I also played it, like, recently. It looks like, um... Perdition. Retextured Perdition. I wanna side with these guys, I want the rush, right? Yeah, I want the rush. Yo, Jackalow, welcome on. Happy New Year to you too. So, the servants serve the I'll give you a good price of what I've got left. Put I know it might be a bit immersion breaking for a crusader to like run around with demon wings and like siding with Solar, but <clears throat> why rush compared to leap? Uh, in this case, because rush also adds damage from the shield. But honestly, leap is pretty cool as well. I like leap as well. But to be fair, like these low level rushers have pretty bad range. I mean, all the skulls have pretty bad range. Like all the low level ones have pretty bad range. Okay, this like condemn skill. I don't know, I feel like it does nothing at least right now. But I mean, I only have like one point in it. It's one point, but it also doesn't... 
really do anything. Yeah. <clears throat> Chosen's model. Wait, what is Chosen? What, what item is Chosen? Chosen of what? Oh, you mean from Kaiman's Chosen. Right, 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 right. That's cool. Why do they not have a helmet? Like, is it... Uh, <clears throat> is it like that in Diablo 3 as well? They don't have a, they don't have a helmet? This is like lore accurate to Diablo 3, I guess. Do they, do they have like a human face like this as well though? Or are they more like golden, like a golden glowing face? D3. I don't remember D3 that well, to be honest. They're like army men toys. Ah, they look more like mechanical. What I think would also maybe like look cool is if you make them like... Like a ghost's face, but like make it glow like golden, you know? Instead of like the usual like ghosty color, it's like golden. Why the fuck am I so squishy? Probably because I didn't invest anything in armor. <laughs> <laughs> or like resistances. Yeah, I should grab this, right? Laws of Justice seems really good right now. At this point of the game. Dude, this is such a piano bell right now. Okay, I mean, this is like a flashbang. Ah, it's literally flashbang. Flashbang on a shield. This is our damage reduction. This is our blips. Hmm. Should we vote for a second class? Probably. Yo, Megafer, welcome on, welcome on, Raiders. Happy New Year to you. How you doing?
No, why the fuck are they wandering up, man? Like, attack this place. Monk. Doesn't like playing Grimdawn blind without knowing like which items have monster like uh, skill modifiers for your skills, for your dungeon skills right now? Like I have no idea where to farm which item right now. Vitality Condemn. Alright, there we go. That's an item. Yo, it actually also changes the thing. That's so cool, dude. Like, holy shit. Look at this. This mod is insane. It has, like, all the things you want to have. I have no idea about the balance. I mean, honestly, I want to, like, probably like, spend, like, 10 hours in Grim Tools with this mod rigor right now. <laughs> Just to, like, see what exists. And what doesn't exist. You witch died a few times, but you made it to... It made you a softcore sad. Wait, are you playing softcore now? Do you have a hardcore something other? Let me know. Uh, let me guess. It's a juggernaut. <clears throat> you suck too hard to make it out of Act 1 with non tanks. I mean, you really only have to like survive. I mean, I know Act 1 is literally like the, the hardest. I feel you. But it's only like Roas and the uh, Goatman, right? Once you survive those, it's kind of okay. Just stack like Cobras for for uh, what's it called again? Like Merveil, and you're good, right? See you around. Plus to the consecration, plus to the condemn. I mean, this is really cool, right? It's just Vitality Dodge, so... Yeah, just overlevel and buy rings, yeah. Like, buy cold rings and... Overlevel. That's the thing in PvE, right? Like, things don't scale with you. Oh, thank god we already have this component. Unholy Inscription is so good, honestly. Like, once you have it, it's like, GG, noob. Yeah, I mean, on my Witch, I just had a 27, 28 Cold Rust Ring each, and then you can almost, like, face tank Mervale. Okay, what dodge do I even go for, though? Let's freaking shield bash. He has fire and lightning damage and has shield crush, which also like deals fire and lightning damage. And retail. Dude, this class is so retail focused as well, like, yikes. Where, where's resistance reduction on this class? It doesn't have any, right? It only has flat and shattered ground, but that's like all resistance reduction. And then there was, I think, on... Shield, Glare, 25, all... Heaven's Fury, Tier 9, what is Tier 9 even? 
fire and lightning resistance reduction. Wait, how does this one work? I'm curious to see how it's gonna work. Increases your arm by 35%. Akarat's champion. Oh wait, does it also make you bigger? Oh, it's like wind level. Right. I sense turmoil within you. I see, I see, I see. I have a four second mirror when you cap this. Hey, right, what's the cooldown mirror? It's interesting. Akarats doesn't make you bigger, it gives you wings. Oh my god, what did <laughs> Fucking wings. Dies of cringe. Uh, you and your allies take 12% reduced Chthonian damage. Every skill is red ball, every skill gives you red wings. Uh, wings, yeah. Alright, what do we vote for second uh, second class, guys? Maybe then I know what damage shop I'm gonna play. Which second class to play? I know we can add in Necromancer. I mean, D3 Necromancer, of course. Um, Bar... Barium. No, I don't want to play. Uh, maybe, I mean, uh, whatever. Whatever you want to see, I guess. Witch Doctor. Monk. Wizard. Wait, there's still Demon Hunter as well. Uh, check for RRs. No, you check for RRs. I mean, there is RR in this class already, it's fine. For lightning and fire. <clears throat> I'm fine, like, playing a single RR class, that's fine. No, this is minus percent on Beam of Light. And it has flat to all on shattered ground and flat to all on shield glare. <coughs> so it does have like flat and minus percent. Why not go Crusader with Oathkeeper? Because chat as well as myself want to see more Diablo 3 classes. Oathkeeper is obviously gonna be a, a good choice here, right? The thing is, I feel like, if you go Oathkeeper and Crusader, right, you play like Lightning or Fire Dodge, and you need like 50 in both classes, it's gonna be pretty point start, I can tell you that. I mean, something like a Warlord in Grim Dawn also has the same problem, and Warlord is, well, still a good class, right?
I sense turmoil within you. Stay strong. It was just scaling, right? Dude, I wanna I wanna play Grim Tools man. <laughs> I just wanna play Grim Tools. Uh whenever you guys have decided on the class, I'm gonna play Grim Tools, I guess. I sense turmoil within you. I feel like the skating is shit on this. But I need to play Grim Tools to like confirm that. Necromancer and D3 Necro on top. <clears throat> yeah, imagine. <coughs> Alright, what one? Monk and Wizard one? Wait, only three guys voted? Come on, guys. I mean, more than three guys voted, but like, Monk and Wizard have three votes only. We have 120 people already almost in here, like, guys, like... How did only three people vote? Didn't see a poll. Okay. I can twitch polls. I'm being stupid, I guess, I guess. Again, I guess. Alright. Um You're not German, you can't vote in my country? Right. What's it called? Necro Wizard, Monk, Barb, Demon Hunter, and what's the last one? Witch Doctor. Don't miss it this time, guys. Don't miss it this time. We post the link, you missed it? Here you go. I got you. I gotcha. Miss what? Yeah, I don't know, man. He just tuned in. Nice try. You voted? Pog. You can vote on more than one other thing as well if you want. You can vote on like multiple things at the same time. Alright, the vote ends in 6 minutes. Or like, I don't know, and maybe like 11 minutes, whenever. One per IP? Yeah. Like, one... You can vote once per IP, but when you're voting, you can choose more than one option.
They don't vote for Barbie, have a small pee pee. <laughs> what is this? Fox folds. As a damage and as a cloud. Alright. Uh, bloody pox, more like acidic pox. Fuck, I'm frozen. Yeah, I'm kind of like, you know, on the fence that when it comes to like adding masteries from other mods to the season. On one hand, it's really cool. I mean, you would have to like check the buttons first, though. Um, on the other hand, it's also how do you say that? Like, how how fine are people with, like, the immersion break, right? And, like, what what the fuck is, like, double necromancer even supposed to be, right? Like, like ideally we wanted the seasons to be... Kind of, like, vanilla style. You know, like... Sure, they have, like, new content and, like new stuff, but it's kind of like more or less lore accurate in a way, maybe. I guess the new act is already like kind of not that lore accurate, but it's not like... It's about believability, right? That's the word. It's about believability. And the new act, I think, is like still believable. Or like Diablo 3 classes. Um, it's very obvious, like, where it's coming from. And that it's not like a... Like a Grim Dawn kind of thing, really. I mean, that said, you... Could, I guess, still, in a way... Have, like, similar things. <coughs> Add skills without adding masteries. I mean, via items, yeah. But item skills always have like a bit different scaling. Yeah, that, that's the thing, right? Like you would you would have to do something like that's lore accurate to like Grim Dawn lore in a way, in my opinion. But on the other hand. It's so much fucking work, and I mean, people have already like done so much work, like for example, doing this Crusader class and like other Diablo 3 classes or like some other classes. Um, like all the work already has been done for these classes, you know, and it's it's a lot of work. So like redoing that for like a class that might be worse than these, gameplay-wise and lore-wise and balance-wise. I don't know, man. It, it, it's uh, it's hard in my opinion to like decide on that. Not an easy decision. ZDPS, Wonka. One of the best parts of the season is that it's vanilla plus. The game is great, it's just nice to have more content, like Moira added a lot of things this game didn't have before, piloting was required over just a gear check. Yeah.
Like, e even Moira has, like, lore, you know, in a way. I didn't quite understand the lore behind the other super bosses, personally, though, but... Wait, what's Flash Bulwark doing here now? Maybe it has, like, some nice modifiers here. Bulwark's Crusher has Leap, Weapon Damage, and Recharge. I mean, this is so cool, though, like, already the MIs are done, in a way. Laws of Hope, Fist Damage, and Regen. Two Laws of Hope, alright. Huh. The Titan Quest Masteries? How's the itemization for those though? Uh... Is the guy like ma that makes the Titan Quest masteries like still even working on on the support for that? Or... Like who who made the Titan Quest masteries even? I mean, to be fair, they're like easier to translate over from Titan Quest because like the or the game is like the same basically. <clears throat> Don't forget the vote, right? If you haven't well, already. I have Don't forget to vote on the next class. Well, if it is I haven't been in I came up. I mean through Jackson code, I have for example, um like we've added a new skill, like with a shotgun for example. Right? That that could be Somewhat used as a main ability in the last season. Um, you weren't able to bind devotions to it at first, but that has been fixed. Like, you can bind devotions to it now. Like, that part has been fixed. Plus 3 to rend. I mean, bleeding damage to rend. What is rend? This one has bone spikes. I guess those are like like necromancer abilities. Cold and pierce to it. Rend is a barb skull. <coughs> okay. Alright, we're gonna check out all these items. It's gonna be fun, actually. Wait, the Soul Harvest? Oh, right, right, there is a skill called Soul Harvest that's not Soul Harvest. Because it's, uh... It's in D3 Necro or something like that. And Languish? Plus to language, plus to the soul harvest, and modifiers for soul harvest. Totally not bone harvest. That's the other issue, but like, like if you add... I don't know, man. They have staves and spears in that mod as well. Yo. Crit by Asylum. Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, Asylum makes pretty good mods, I think, actually. Harmonious prefix has processed to harmony. I mean, it makes sense. That makes sense. Got any more scrap metal? New weapon types, even, eh? 
What kind of animation is, animations are they using for those? Because, um... Uh, You know, weapons might need different animations as well. You're ground zero. Welcome on, welcome on. Happy New Year to you. <coughs> Am I gonna play fire? Oh yeah, you can vote real quick on this. Which second class to pick. Because we're gonna choose it basically right now. Like on the next level up. Uh, currently I'm a Crusader. Crusader is the main class. I like the first class that chat has chosen. Yo, Kerry Gupta, welcome on. Happy New Year to you too. By the way, how's the, the mic setting now? Is it better or worse than before? Uh, like, do I, do I still have random mutes sometimes? And how's the quality? Juggernaut relic? I guess I'm just choosing soldier, that just. Alright, um, yeah, looking at the results here. As you can see here, Wizard won very, very close to Wonk. Very close. But yeah, it's gonna be. We're gonna be a Wizard Harry. Uh, so, what does Wizard have? Spectral Blade. Whenever an enemy hits you, summon a Spectral Blade that deals elemental damage to nearby enemies, reducing the physical damage for 3 seconds. At soft cap, while Spectral Blade is active, you gain fire retail and 10% of its added of it is added to the blades. Okay. I mean that sounds good for like a tank, honestly. Uh, magic missile. Is this Panetti's just different? It's Panetti but looks Different, I guess. Yeah. 
Okay, what's the class now? Angelic Wizard. Alright. I'm an Angelic Wizard, guys. to shatter. Whereas Bizarre has a really good defense. Interesting, interesting. And when it comes to damage type, then we're also like definitely gonna play like fire lightning with. I assume Wizard is mostly like elemental. I should play Grim Tools, right? That's what I said earlier. I wanna play Grim Tools. Damage and crit damage electrocute. That's this one over here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, um. I mean, yeah, I guess time to play some ground tools then. Time to play angelic wizard ground tools. So, how good work? Angelic wizard with demon wings. Kick. Alright, I think now it's really time to... Switch around... The wings. So many RPGs have right now. I feel like only Diablo 3 does it. Which other RPG does it? I guess PUE also does it, yeah. Um. There we go. Angelic Wings for Angelic Wizard. So we we'll do the wings of hope though. Wait. Ellie hasn't done it yet, but we expect it when they do their cosmetics. Yeah, maybe. Made the angelic wings look better, right? No matter the mod, Grim Tools remains the main game. I mean, the Diablo 2 mod doesn't have a Grim Tools, or does it? Actually, it does as well. <laughs> uh, so you have D3 classes mod and the Reign of Terror mod. They both have it, right? Oh yeah, this one even has the world map. Right. Just like our season. Yeah, the Green of Red Terror control is so good. Okay, so we are a Crusader and a Wizard. <clears throat> okay, what the fuck does a Wizard do? This is like OFF for us, Nova. This is like Aether Ray, but Frost. A hundred physique, a hundred fifty cunning, two fifty spirit. 
How's that compared to Arcanist? And it's the same, right? Wait, no, Wizard has like 50 more health for some reason. Paw Creep 3. How's Crusader compared to, say, Oathkeeper? Two fifty, hundred twenty five, hundred twenty five, twelve fifty, six fifty. Yo, these classes oh wait, no no, it's it's less both keeper has more physique, this is more conning and more spirit. Fifty less energy but hundred and fifty more health. So it's the same as Soldier when it comes to health, but it has like a hundred more energy. Yo, the stats are power crept here, what the fuck? <laughs> what is this power creep? It's a mix of Soldier Shaman. I mean, the classes always have like a... They have like 1900 health and energy combined, right? Maybe not. And 500 attribute points, right? 250, 400, 500. Yeah, it's always 500. 500 plus 1900, right? Yeah, yeah, 500 plus 1900. 500 plus 1900 and all of the D3 classes have 2k, right? No, this one has 1950. This is 1950, has like 50 more health. Monk is 1900, okay. But it has 550 attributes. Has like 50 additional like cunning or something like that. This one has 2k health and energy, 500 attributes. Barb is 1900. And also 550 attributes. I mean, I'm just saying, right? I'm just saying, they do have more base stats. Slightly. Anyway, let's not nitpick too much here. So this one has dodge. Surround yourself with a barrier of ice that deals with cold and frostburn damage to nearby enemies with a chance of freezing them for two seconds. Okay. Six points is the sweet spot for the avoidance. Storm armor. Oh wait, these are exclusives as well. Monk. Dodge exclusive. 
or lightning damage exclusive. You gain 20% increased movement speed and 50% resistances to slow effects. Yo, that's pretty good as well. Alright, and then this one is... Absorbs energy from spells and CDR. Such thigh, yep. Wave of force. <laughs> it's not force wave, it's wave of force. Alright. Enemies hit, deal 20% reduced damage for 4 seconds. You're surprised you don't see World of Warcraft classes? Ah, oh, it's not an RPG. Ah, oh, it doesn't like spam by default and you add a cooldown here. Sure. And it has dot damage here, so like... You play it like this, right? Maybe. I mean, not on this class, though. Probably. Sleek Shell increases your total speed by 15% while Diamond Skin is active. Gain a temporary aura of Diamond for 3 seconds, absorbing blah 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 blah. Wait. Do all these classes have, like, these kind of active absorb skills as well? Like, you have Iron Skin, right? And you have Diamond Skin. Is this how freaking Diablo works? Yes, because there is no good dual class. Yeah. And it becomes a problem when there is a dual class system like Rondon, though. Okay, this is like a Scandras in a way. <clears throat> With 15% damage absorption. That's huge. Astral Presence. This is kind of like... Um, I, need, I need to compare like with, a, with Grimdon classes here a bit. So that I can like gauge the power properly. 25, 12, 25, 13, and reach like energy cost. Okay, so this is just like in a focus. But it has like 1% more at level 1. And a bit of uh, mental alacrity, I mean, yeah. Unwavering will. So this is like elemental balance.
crud scaling. Now it's better. And has... Aetheras like overload. And Aetheras and Fizzeras on top. And the skill line seems like ridiculous right now to me. Pretty strong. Pretty strong for sure. Why does it show this weird circle here? It's a different... Right. Why is it circle like this in the scrum tools? Is it because of the... Hmm. The mod is also different? Summon Hydra. Dude, the, these classes have so many skills, right? They have, like, this has more skills than Arcanist. I mean, you still have the same amount of skill points, so, like, you can't play that many skills, but you can play more around with a wizard than you can play with an Arcanist, I feel like. It just has more skills. The popular Diablo mod? Uh, that's the Diablo 3 mod, yeah. I mean, I guess both the D3 mod as well as the D2 mod are popular. I mean, the D2 mod might be more popular because of, like, you know, being D2 and, like, people love D2. And, I mean, people also like D3, but maybe not, not as much. Seems like a one pointer to me. This this mod in a quotation mark like only adds classes here. Yeah. I think the classes are better made than in the D2 mod though. They cast Frost Nova, Magic Missile, and Meteor. It's funny. Teleport. Mm -hmm. Draw a black hole at a target location that draws foes to it. Does it actually work in Grom Dawn? That's that's cool. Knock down target, but it knocks them down towards the black hole. I really wanna try that how it works in game. Like I I didn't think this would be possible in Grom Dawn, but maybe it is. <coughs> it's like a constant judgment. 
Oh, right, right, right. Judgment does the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True, 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 true. Yeah, when I mean, it's knocked down and the bosses have like knockdown resistance. But the basic like perma CC is all trash. Still good. Mine is a 100% spirit requirement for armor. I like it. It's kind of funny. I mean, it's just thematic. Um, it's also only during the uptime of this. Like, <laughs> it's such a troll stat. Yeah, I mean, it literally does nothing. Max Aurus. It used to interact with a set, but Crate killed it. Really? Okay, so what do I even want for my Crusader then? I mean, this lineup here seems OP as fuck. Unstable anatomy, hmm. All the skills, I mean, there's so many skills here, but like. Hmm. Maybe I wanna play like False Wave, you know? <laughs> uh, A new power to drop the crate boxes with a black hole skull. Hmm. Wait, why are there three points here? Question mark? Why does this skill have three ranks? I don't know. I mean, you made this, didn't you? <laughs> you know what I mean? You don't know. <laughs> you could at least, like, have something scale here. You know, like... Make it, uh... Make it have, like, minus... 25% will damage modified, then like minus 20 and then minus 15 or something like that. Or like 30% uh, chance to pass through, 70% chance to pass through, 100% chance to pass through, or something like that. Like it's three times the same stats, like there's nothing changing anything here. That's why I'm saying, like, why does it have three ranks? Like these have more damage, you know, like these add more damage with each rank. This one does nothing. If people want to spend points, who are we to stop them? <clears throat> Black hole? Make it a lightning hole? Or a fire hole? <laughs> But no cold hole. 
I mean, fair enough. It's probably like an item that does that instead. Okay, which... What skill do I want to play, man? What do I play on this, on this class? And you also want this and this. And this. This is your RR, right? You're playing either... Either fire or lightning. It's not working as intended then? Hmm. I think so too. <laughs> I think so too. Okay, I need to decide, like, holy shit. Yeah, I mean, right now you only put one point. Like, why would you put more than one? Fragments only work with the frozen orb transmitter. These aren't actives. I mean, these aren't exclusives. I mean, so you could like alternate between the two, right? You're married, happy new year. It's so many buttons, though. Holy shit. Seems insane. Also, which exclusive do I pick? How much fire return do you gain? Oh, it says at the bottom. 120. It's like a retail class. Should be a solo class mode? No, I mean it's all about choices. I don't think that's like a problem.
Wait, wait, okay, word. Okay, we need. We need a typical debuffs. Like DR. RR. This class has no RR, right? There's some flat somewhere, I think. I forgot where. Okay, Frost Nova has like... <clears throat> but it's like all of effort, it only works if you can freeze enemies. Hydra? Reduces one of the elemental resistances of enemies by 25. The reduced resistance is based on the damage trap Hydra is using. Okay. So fire, cold, or lightning. What happens if you like pick both of these? <laughs> Elemental exposure works at fire hydro only. Where's elemental exposure? All right. It works independently from freezing? Really? Oh, did you did you code us as a Kedder's Tempest? Instead of a OFF. Because if so, that's smart. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a Kedder's Tempest and no OFF. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then it works independently from freezing. True. Oh yeah, it's also not it's not a duration debuff. Right, it's not a duration debuff, it's just a... Well, like, it's not a curse skill. Like, OFF is basically like a curse skill, you could say, right? Like, curse of reality. Like, it's like, it's a curse that only works if you actually like, freeze. It's a freeze curse. <laughs> Some super weird... Hmm... Yo, this means also that the damage works, even when enemies aren't frozen. That's cool. Ah, uh, this is like the Necromancer's Ravenous Earth skill on death procs. It deals the same damage, right? But there's only procs if killed by Frost Nova, right? Otherwise, it doesn't proc. Like, if you kill the enemy with anything else than Frost Nova, then this won't proc, right? Reduce the amount of resistance of an ace by 30. Wait, but that's terrible uptime. <clears throat> Just like monks exploding it palm. Wait, but like exploding palm, you you can't just kill it with any damage, right? Usually, it doesn't have to be the exploding palm that like like you mark the enemies with exploding palm. Okay, I need to try this in game. 
Like, if this actually works... That's interesting. I wasn't... I wouldn't go... Like, if you just have to mark the enemy... Like you do with Exploding Palm, and you don't have to like kill the enemies with the ability. Like why the fuck didn't Crate, crate do it like that then? How did I get the wings? Did I pre-order D4? Yeah, yeah, exactly. You pre-order D4, you get like wings and Grindon. That's how it works. Yep. The skull needs to kill it. Yeah, okay. What troubles you? That's what I thought. <laughs> Stay strong. Goodbye, skill. Complains about PoE flasks. I mean, farewell, farewell. Let's just play some force wave, right? Bear chest. Oh, it caters tempest. But actually, good radius. Farewell. No, there, there are no hard cap bonuses. Yikes. Okay, can I? Let's see here. Stay strong. How much damage is this? I have no idea. Guess we'll see. <clears throat> um, let me clear your mind of Farewell. Okay, I finally decided. Wait, what the fuck is a volcanic fury? Wait, where, where, did I, where am I getting that one from? Oh, Inferno and Rennick, right. Right, 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 right.
Okay, let's try this. And we play... I don't know, Lightning of Fire. How the hammers work? Like this. You cast them once and then like six of them spawn and they swirl around you. <laughs> Dreeks holy hammers. That's like Targo Hammer Devotion. Kinda. Alright, I guess we just play fire for now. Let's go. Let's play the game. Need another animation, it's just like a standard casting animation going on. Can't really change it that much. I mean, I guess you could do something else, but... Look at the portal, though. Pretty cool, right? More wings? Alright, how good is Force Wave? How much dot is it? Let's see here, just false wave damage. And it's okay, I guess. It also applies 20% damage reduction. So that's good. <laughs> From Archon? Yeah. Oh, Akaroth's champion and Archon both add wings. <laughs> that is a cringe. I mean, it's the other three classes, right? Like, what do you expect? Of course, it's gonna be wings. Archon's requirement is bugged. What do you mean bugged? Wait, how's the requirement bugged? You're telling me my, my character is gonna be scuffed? Do you need like 51 points on the trio or something? Yes. I actually need 51 points to activate it. Wow. Just get 51 mastery points, dude. What's the problem? <laughs> and you can fix the spirit... Minus spirit requirement for armor then as well. I mean, maybe we gotta find some more bugs here. Like, maybe you, you should wait. Re-upload, I don't know. I mean, this one is a pretty game-breaking one, though. Oh, my hammers are still outside. All right. There we go.
Did I need a uh, astral presence for spare energy cost reduction? And I should also pick up diamond skin, but Okay, my single target is still like non-existent. Virus Might Oathkeeper, I mean Virus Might Hammer combo, yeah. Angelic Hammer Ding Ding Dong. Kind of. Oh yeah, what do these do? Pierce damage and leech to rend. Pierce damage and leech to rend. Wait, maybe I should also, you know, check out... ...items. Oh, Kaisok Skull. Converts lightning to aether to wave of force and cold to fire to wave of force. <coughs> um. Vitality, wave of force. Mythical Storm Shield. Fire and cold to lightning to wave of force. Should play wizard and soldier so you have wave force and wave and fourth wave. Yeah. Physical and fire punish slash fire damage and crit to slash Swami's mask 
elemental slash. Akarat's champion, or like Akan's champion. It's like the Crusader. Crusader only. Uh, thing, I guess. A set. Crusader's Maximus. Oh, we could have gotten the Icarians for Slash. Huh. This item looks pretty cool, honestly. Oh, and Bane Gargoth's shield. Okay, so this is a pretty straightforward build, right? That you can easily farm for. Like, you kill Bane Gargoth, you kill Kyrion, and you play Fire Slash. That works, I guess. Reaping Halberd is a Vit Slash. <coughs> Yo, happy new year, Wretched, welcome on, welcome on. Uh, Akarot's champion in this mod, uh, I mean, this is what it does, basically. Slash is a default track. Do these classes have any weapon pool skills? They don't, right? Oh, the armor set? Armor of Akon. I mean, it like mostly modifies Akarat's champion. Granted skills stampede reduce a group of burning horses in front of you, dealing physical and fire damage to enemies and burning them for three seconds. I think in this mod they don't make your character bigger, but they give you wings, <laughs> so at least you see that you have wings. Alright, 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 alright. Um, so, Force Wave had nothing, right? I mean, Kazox, I guess. And Legendaries later on. Sure. Retail, Punish, and Force Wave. Uh, so many skill points.
How about Barbarian's big dude mode? I have no idea. I don't know, to be honest. Wait, what if I kill Kha'Zix again real quick? Let's do that, let's try not. Ah, but without a shield, Crusader has no movement ability, right? Oh, yikes. Can I even still get a... Am I, or am I like overleveled? Mm. We'll see. I could kill him on our lead, I guess. Alright, let's take one up the void, what the fuck. The good thing about this is the burn damage. This looks balanced. Mm. I mean, I'm fighting level 2 mobs right now. Like, that's the main reason why it might look a bit weird. I like a bit in there. Play a pet build. Summon Hydra. Summon Basilisk. Uh, I'm playing the Diablo 3 mode right now. Which adds like Diablo 3 classes. Uh, this one right here. I mean, summon Hydra. I mean, close enough. It's kind of hard to like, rip, like, unless you import the model from D3. I guess it's pretty hard to like. It could look exactly the same, right? This is pretty good. I mean, the basilisks are working well, I guess. Not sure if the vipers would look better. And the Hydras, I mean, then the Basilisks. 
even when importing it looked weird. All right. Okay, I think I've concluded that for now. <laughs> it possibly sucks. <laughs> At least for now. What troubles you? Rest in peace, my arm builds. Wave of ports, no pause wave. Yeah. Safe journey. I guess I could play like slash. Try that a bit. I'm slowly but surely running out of iron bits to like try stuff, but for now let's try this a bit more. And maybe I farm Kirion after like killing the queen here. Oh shit. Dude. I always think like slash works like a blade arc, but it doesn't. Why is it called slash when it doesn't work like a blade arc? I always think this is blade arc, but it's not. Should, wait, sh shouldn't slash like work like blade arc though? Like, or is that just just me? used to, but then people pr complained you can't proc weapon pool skills. I mean, if you want to proc weapon pool skills, just play punish. I'm dead. <laughs> Never mind. Holy fuck. Dying to Ravna. Monka. Okay, something is wrong with my build. Dying to Ravna on Veteran. What the fuck? How? And I have to be bad armor. That's for sure. I'm no soldier. Doesn't play Veteran Vanilla at this point. Uh, veteran Vanilla with Vanilla class where I know what to do would be a joke right now. This is way harder for me than Vanilla because I have no idea what like, skills are good and so on. Play D3 mod and then just play Warlord, imagine. <laughs> Also, this one over here would give me armor, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. What troubles you? Safe 
safe journey. Usually at this point, I would be playing, you know, maxed out cocktail, Zarathusalans offhand, and just like one shot everything with like one cocktail. So, yeah. It's a bit different right now. Also, I think my gear like just sucks ass. It's absolutely terrible. To be fair though, Ravna is always like a hard boss. Like when you have no armor, no physicals, he always hits hard. Unless you... Yeah, I mean you have to kinda kite her. You don't have good armor. Just need to pick Angelic Warlord class. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Right, it's especially armor at this point, which is just bad. And I have no, no leech, I think. Yeah, zero percent leech. Might be a bit low. I have no pots. Hmm. How did I run out of pots? Come see what's left of my wares. See you around. Yo, Xenonic Pokemon, was nice. By the way, <clears throat> I think one thing would be cool though. If Blessed Hammer had the same, if the skill had a cooldown. And it matched the duration of the hammers. Right? Then you would kinda like know when you have to press it again. Alright, we got an insane item. Holy shit, Searing of Wildfire. Alright, that's uh, that's perfect. Does it have Horsey Charge? Not really. But I think there is like a, like an item that gives you something like Horsey Charge. Need 
something broken down? Oh, right, yeah, if you have CDR, then you press it early, it goes on cooldown, but it doesn't summon. Mm. True, 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 true. <coughs> Honestly, safe journey. I'm going back and forth, right? Oh well. So what does it do? It adds 80% weapon damage to slash. Okay. Alright, let's go the amalgamation. What's my Aether is? 48%. I need a rune stone still. How do I get rune stone again? That's from like rovers or is it Or is it uh, that was crossing? It is from these guys. So I'm gonna kill more... More what? More Akovin undead? Uh, does that have to do SLT or what? I guess so. <clears throat> What's got, what gets turned into a turn? One point us, what am I doing? I mean, Heavenly Strength only does something if I actually craft these items, right? 
Or that, that's useless. <coughs> Order the hangover pizza with ghost peppers. You thought there would be slightly hot peppers, but you're actually dying. Oh, God. Incorruptible emerald ring. Yo. It even adds plus two to laws of justice. It's insane. Wait, I should just max out Laws of Hope, right? And use that instead, probably. Like, Blood Absorption was really good earlier. Wait, why do people complain that you can't proc weapon pool skills with Slash? Like, Crusader doesn't have any weapon pool skills anyway. I mean, obviously you always play dual class, but... I can carry on, man. He kills people. I mean, the Zarathustran, rather. Not carry on. Carry on is a joke compared to this guy. Necro's Grim Sonic has the Blade Arc template already. Mm, okay. I mean, you could make the same argument for like Crusader saying like Punish already has the normal default attack animation. <clears throat> right.
Like you could, I'm not saying you should, but like you could, right? Uh, Traveler, sure. Come see what's left of my I still need more? What? Okay, 22 more skeleton colors, I guess. We go like crumbling watch, maybe? Uh, the three mod is pretty much all right. Skills and items, and I think also some bosses in SR question mark. Yeah, no, no new maps. Here we go. Let's go and get the rune stone component. See you like. Do I want rusted remains as well? Mm, probably not, actually. Actually, want another ward stone here. Like honestly, these topazes are cool and all, but not better than a ruined stone. I mean, not better than a board stone right now. At least right now. <clears throat> I actually like playing Pewee at the moment, but hardcore is so stressful with the hangover. Some Chilgrim Dawn seems better suited. Yeah, Pewee can get really stressful. I mean, Grim Dawn can also get a bit stressful, I guess. But compared to Pewee, it's always kind of chill, I feel like. I don't know, like Pewee Hardcore is just. To be honest, I haven't played the game enough. Like, I, I don't know, like. If I die in PoE, it's probably because I don't see something, and then me not seeing it is because I have like no hours in the game. Yeah, zoom, zoom with death looking around every corner is small guy. Yeah. It really is. Like you get some weird rare mob, it just like kills you because of its modifiers. Or you didn't check map mods properly. I mean, you should always do that, I guess. But You could have like 10k hours and still miss something. Yeah. And I mean the zoom doesn't help either. <coughs> the more you play, the more likely it is for you to die. And I mean, not per like hour or like per minute played. Right. But yeah, eventually you're gonna die anyway. The crossfield animation, it's a proc from the shield bash. 
The shield barrage has crumble and crumble passively activates shield cross. Where's my leech? I don't have leech yet. <laughs> Let's just run scuffed maps, but where's the fun on that? Hmm. We got a belt. Undisputed champion. Frenzy and leap. Well, that's uh, for barbs, obviously. Alright, I wanna sign the... Death Vigil, I think. Just to have like the option to farm Bartholom for his hammer, which, as we know, is good for uh, <clears throat> blast hammer. Chaos fifty four, net seventy seven. I mean, should be fine. Hey, I'm, a, I'm an angelic wizard. Naja, go on. Donated $100. Wait, did you? Or are you like memeing? Brewster? Yeah, the Brewster is here. The Brewster is always lurking. Honestly, he's, he's a big lurker. That was nice, yep, yep. You too. Alright, we're back to Zoomer music, I guess.
What's the sound effect file from this shield charge? It's pretty good, honestly. Is that like OG D3? It is. <clears throat> interesting, interesting. How's D3 mod compared to D2 in terms of quality and gameplay? Um, so the D3 mod does not have like new maps, it's only new classes and new items, so it is smaller in total like content size. Um, the quality of Maybe. the classes and the items though are pretty good. Um, the last time I played D2 mod was quite a while ago, but I feel like right now I would say the D3 classes look and seem better than the D2 classes. Um, but yeah, I haven't played the D2 one in a while. And D2 has like just more content with like the entire like D2 uh, maps on top and so on. But I mean, both mods are good. For sure. Yeah, I, th I mean, I wouldn't say this one is perfect balance wise, but it's probably better than the D2 one. I mean, Diablo 2 itself, like the game itself, is pretty unbalanced, I feel like already. And uh, the Grim Dawn D2 mod was is like even worse. Um, that said, people have said that the balance has become better than it was in the past, so yeah, I'm, I might like check it out again. In D2 mod, you could be double Necromancer, which is cringe. I mean, you can be that here too. You can be Diablo 3 Necromancer and Grim Dawn Necromancer. He bought D2R for 13 euros. Alright. Yeah, yeah, there was a there was a poll, <laughs> and um, the guy was considering removing the Grand Dawn classes before D2R was a thing. But then like D2R was announced and he was like, yeah, okay, I mean, if D2R is going to be a thing anyway, the people who only want to play D2 classes, they might as well just like play D2R, right? So, removing the Grim Dawn classes for the Reign of Terror mod kind of was no more option after D2R happened. <laughs> I mean, balance-wise, it's a bit more of a mess. I mean, the, the more classes there are, the worse the balance is always, kind of, I guess. If you have more variety, so... I mean, what does... And old classes would just keep you from going all the way designing new classes. I mean, the problem is, like these Diablo 2 mods, like both the D2 as well as the D3 mod, you don't really like design new classes. It's more like you try to replicate what already exists in D2 and D3 and like try to make it look as good as possible in like the Grim Dawn engine. 
Uh, so you don't really like design new classes, right? You just like, I mean, it's you just the quotation marks. You, you you have to try to replicate the feeling and the skills of the OG classes as good as possible. The two models are a bit overtuned at the beginning. And yeah, the last time I was playing it, I was also dying a lot early, I think. I mean, I, the furthest I went, I mean, I didn't play it like that long, like a week or a couple days. Um, the furthest I got was like the Diablo on normal difficulty. Then I died to Diablo. But I mean, I just misplayed, honestly. Yeah, why am I ZDPS here? Holy shit. Like literal ZDPS. What the fuck? Does he have like fire rescue or something? Plays D2 mod chooses Warlord, yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, ROT campaign is just harder, for sure. <clears throat> and it's already like a big challenge anyway, combining like. Like recreating Diablo classes that are made in a game, like a single class game. Um, even if you don't, if you even if you do remove the old classes, like you always have to still like also consider the new classes, like matching or not matching too well. Too better than has like 50 auras. Yeah. One thing that I will never understand is like why the fuck did Grim Dawn or like Crate never change the colors of like Monster of Reclans? Like why are they still just green? Even fucking Titan Quest has them as like olive green at least. So weird dude. Where are my other inventory expansions? Well, I don't have them yet. Because I probably didn't do the side quests attached to them.
Man, yeah, the, the solution is like just play Rainbow Filter mode, right? But I don't know, should be just like part of the game? Let me throw you one shot. <coughs> Alright, what do I have here? Plus two to command Golem. And Chaos damage to Decrepify. Whatever that is again. Either some Necro or Witch Hunter. Uh, Witch Doctor, but it's you. Why is he so giga tanky, man? Well, <laughs> what's his aim? I don't know, man. Shouldn't slash do like more damage when you max out the skill and the secondary skill, and you have an item for it? At least not the FPS, yeah, at least not like purely FPS. This made clone arcane monster, I mean, yeah. It's obvious, right? It's obvious. Uh, I need to loot here, I need to get better gear. Astro Presence, Laws of Valor, Laws of Valor, Laws of Hope. Mm. I'll be right back.
Are you guys vibing to the music? Nice. Yo, plus two to blast hammer. Pretty nice. I mean, I kind of just want to go for more armor right now, honestly. We have never enough away in early mid game. <laughs> I mean, I don't think away is like that important early mid game though. Oh shit, why is this inventory so big? Yo, what the fuck? I spent two iron bits. If you're playing a physical build, you just dump culling. Then you just dump culling while leveling. That's all you profit. I 
not kidding. If you're playing, <clears throat> if you're playing, um, anything Assassin's Blade related, so physical appears, you just dump cunning, and then that's fine. Oh shit, did I not get a rush? I forgot to buy a rush. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, the, the Cunning Spirit... Physique balance overall is pretty good right now, I would say. Pretty much nailed it. Like it's it's pretty good. Holy fuck fucking Zarya dude, imagine dying to Zarya. Yep. Good thing I killed at least one crystal before they started zapping. Back in your B boomer days, they didn't. Yeah, I mean back then you just always put physique. But it's been like buffed since like two years now already. Like they changed just like two years ago, I think. And partial components, yeah. Partial components and no health and cunning and spirit. <laughs> I imagine. At least two years ago, yeah, probably even longer ago. I still think like Slash is just... How is it so fucking weak, dude? Okay, it has 35% crit damage, but like... Hundred and sixty two percent main hand damage. It's a hundred and eighty with my weapon. So early in three, and I like it. Hmm. I don't know, man. Where are my hammers? We. Give me my hammers. There we go. This guy's like RF always feel weak early. I mean, RF at least has a percent, like, bonus boost, that is global. Same for savagery and the lightning damage or not. And it's the same for punish and the physical damage or not. The skill? Well, you can, you can, you can see it was a blade arc skill in the past. <laughs> Was a blade arc skill once upon a time. And you need weapon pool skills to make it good, I guess. Otherwise, it's just trash. Gundo gear, exploding palm, frost burn, attack speed. Right, right, right. 
Yeah, 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 like I can see it being like balanced like Fire Strike, but Fire Strike has like two other skills that give it like giga damage. And Slash does not. Like Brimstone is more damage than like the entire other Fire Strike line usually. Well, like I mean not not quite, but it's like really really high damage. In the mid game. And then like late game or like end game, the percent weapon damage becomes really important as well. But like mid game. Brimstone like hard carries fire strike. Has extra damage on ultimate ranks to compensate. Yeah, I mean that would be a good way to make it work, yeah. Like these kind of like early skills. I mean, you can't make it too strong, otherwise, you know, it's like, I mean, it's a 1 and 10. You can't make it that strong, but... Yeah, you can give it, like, strong ultimate ranks, yeah. I can't open that. Right, one thing that I realize right now... That usually at this point makes like leveling with Brimdon classes so much easier and like just easy overall, honestly. Is um, like plus skills from Relic, from Amulet, from Belt. It's so easy to get in Brimdon. Like plus one all skills, right? You could argue that it's too easy in the base game. So in a way, right, in a way, playing playing these classes right now, especially like when you don't know what you're doing, feels more like Grim Dawn 1.0. Like it, it feels like Grim Dawn, like how Grim Dawn played like three or four years ago. <clears throat> I mean, it might be partially because I don't know what I'm doing with these classes. It might be partially because of gear. Like, the ease of getting certain gear. Yeah, when I first capped hammers, I mean, it was like... Very strong, because... <laughs> I mean, the skill just hits like six times and, yeah. It's eager damage. But you cap it and then you don't have any like bonus damage on it anymore, so it falls off, yeah. Like level 35 you should usually like, you know, be able to craft like a Plus one all skills to not play to soldier, whatever, right? It still scales with blunt, but blunt, yeah, that's true. It still does, but. It's like minimal scaling, I would say. It's not like actually strong scaling. It's 
not like total damage modified or something like that, you know. At least on paper it doesn't look like strong scaling to me. Like one point, yeah, of course, but more than that. Okay, what do we have here? Scepter of, of Woe. Of Wow. Of Woe. <laughs> uh, I mean, this is basically Kelrian's just worse. Right? For me right now. <coughs> it's just Kelrian's but worse. The explosive blast seems cool though, especially because it has like an interval and like it's, you know... That's kind of cool. How does it work? Flashbang. <laughs> Pretty cool though. But I mean, ultimately, it's not good enough. But it's cool. I only got one insignia. Oops. Whoops. Bartholomew's gavel was a two-hander. That means you can't play shield bash. And the movement just feels so good. Having no shield bash is gonna be kinda hard to play. <clears throat> What does Shield Bash do in OG Diablo 3? Heavenly Strength from Crusader? I mean, it does. But it uh, pretty much only works for blues and purples, not for green items. Due to, well, like Grundon crafting limitations, let's say. Yeah, yeah. Uh, here, here it, it. There's like a workaround. Here you can craft one handed versions of two handers. Um, but they have like 5 billion like physique requirement. And Heavenly Strength. What it does is it removes the physical requirement on items, like on weapons. So then like only Crusader can like wield those one-handed two-handers. And... But yeah, because of crafting and affixes... You can only do that with like... Blues and purples, reliably. 
<laughs> and you could technically also make it with green, like make it happen with greens. But then you would like scuff Apexels. Spiders. Ray of Frost. Ah, uh, we speak at last. Yo, Robo, welcome on. Thanks for the follow. I didn't have the, in these quests yet, what the fuck. Also, how did I... miss the frickin' eggs again? How do I keep missing the eggs recently? You haven't played Grim Dawn in so long, really. <laughs> like, when did you play it the last time? Two years ago? One year ago? Last 100 was easy to two years ago. Maybe we should play next season or something. Seasons are fun. Or maybe like some mod, I don't know. You haven't played Grim Dawn since yesterday? You haven't played it since last year, basically, what the fuck? Oh, my hammers are gone.
Red Nod for Patsio, that's pretty good. I mean, if you're a soldier at least. <laughs> Alright, we have reached 50 points, which means we can get Heaven's Fury. Dude, I'm, I'm still like waiting for, um, for an ambush when I click on that chest, but there is no ambushes on this mod. <laughs> you through Necro and Witch Doctor can have Giga Pets? Hmm, probably. I would assume so. Just walk away from the chest every time you click one now. Stan has successfully reprogrammed your brain. To be honest, damage right now is not bad, like, it's totally fine. Like, I was still big raging earlier a bit about, like, single target damage, but I mean, it's totally fine. It's not, like, crazy, but it's fine. And AoE, I mean, with the hammers, it's still pretty good. Alright, especially, like, with the skill point that we have now for those abilities. Like, plus two from, what was it? Blast prefix and plus three from Kyrians from the for the slash. What kind of class do you feel like Grim Dawn is missing right now? Apart from a shapeshifter. <clears throat> like Vanilla Grim Dawn, not like what mods. Villager, like a peasant. He was Rudolf. Welcome, welcome. Happy New Year. I 
I mean, so far New Year is... I mean, after one day, rather uneventful. <laughs> Grimdon does have pretty much everything covered, right? Apart from... Shapeshifting. One day in, I haven't won the lottery yet. Sounds like I'm slacking. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> Just wear a Korba set. Korba set, Korba set counts as shape shifting for you. I don't know about that. You can pretend, I mean. You can also pretend that if you're a demolitionist that you're a mortar, like in, like a real life mortar. I don't know. Shape shifting into a mortar. Like shape shifting to like an Apache attack helicopter on it. Really? It's the healing. What the fuck? How's my armor still so low? 268. What the fuck? I finally got my backspace. <clears throat> Alright, been there, done that. Uh, let's go to... no, not here. Demo's engineer, yeah. I mean, Demo... Like, puts down, like, mechanical traps in the form of mortars, has a flashbang, has bombs, you know. It's pretty much like an engineer class. And other traps. Are you playing Inquisitor traps? Kind of, like the runes. Multi shot. Range and crit to leap. Did I really want to play a leap barb? I think. Maybe next character is going to be a leap barb. Just to like see how it plays. Oh my god, sorry. <laughs> I wanted to like mute myself and instead of like muting myself I just like fucking <laughs> sneezed into the microphone instead of like at least sneezing away from the microphone. Oh well rip. <clears throat> when a six percent weapon damage to arcane orb. That's the non penalty skill, right? That's this one. Hmm. Alright, is it time for Akarot's champion?
What about bombardment? It's like devastation. Crusader devastation. I mean, there, there are no bows, that's true. But Inquisitor is kind of a ranged ex like specialist as well. <laughs> Demon, Inquisitor, yeah. Crossbows and guns. How much, how much screen shake does it have? Conjurer is still good? Yeah. Is that enough screen shake for a bombardment skill? I don't know. I mean, I don't really care about screen shake, but... Okay, let's put Akarat's champion here then. Now we gain actual wings. Alright, uh, I guess we remove the wings. Uh, Conjurer is still a solid vitality caster. Um, Endgame. Really shines as a pet build mostly. I mean, Vidcaster is also good end game, and it's easier to build than the pets, I would say. But ultimately, pet conjurer is probably like the best conjurer. Doesn't have screen check on D3. Oh. I don't know. D3 has screen check or not. I mean, honestly, I don't care. I sense turmoil within. Mm, I'm also not sure if I'm gonna play this right Stay now. Strong. Probably not. Oh, yeah, what about the Wind Devils? Should have to recast them, right? Uh, fuck, too many buttons, dude. Oh my god. Definitely too many buttons. Done with PoE? Hmm, I don't know. I kinda wanna get the... Poison Concoction guy through the campaign at least. Are these guys even slower than Wind Devils? Spam that shit, right? It's another patch now. A patch that makes Archon viable.
Oh, before my stream? Oh. This is fun interesting so far. I mean, messing around with like new castles is always interesting, I think. Um, it's also interesting from like a modder's perspective. Like seeing what, what is and what isn't possible. And, like seeing what other modders have created, what ideas they had. Etc. Et That patch the babies faster? Oh, okay. Good. You've arrived. I mean, I'm gonna just wait until you have the other patch with the fixes out as well. New Year, old terrible jokes, yep. Check just the skating as well, on the new patch. Oh, there's so many skills to play though, like... You can't even like play that many skills, man. Every Crusader has to like play Heavenly Judgment as long as you're playing Fire or Lightning at least. And then what else is there? I mean, if you are playing a shield, you always want to play Shield Bash. I feel like the Flashbang is pretty good as well. I mean, you either play the Flashbang. And or you play Consecration. If you're playing a shield and probably you play the flashbang. Hmm. You gotta play Akarot's champion. You gotta play Iron Skin. So many buttons, dude. Holy moly. Wait, people, people like told you to make this like a default attack instead of Blade Arc, but they didn't tell you to like make Heavenly Judgment, I mean Heaven's Fury permanent, like Guardians? <laughs> instead of having it be like Wind Devil? <laughs> Monka. Aether Grim Scythe. Yo, I mean that fits so well on this item. That fits very well on that item. I like it. Yo Luke, happy new year. By the way, this is supposed to like spawn blades or something, right?
Oh, it's the explosion. This one right here. Oh, that's like Ring of Steel Blades. Uh, I see. Oh, it's like Counter Strike, kind of. It's like Counter Strike, right? It's basically Counter Strike. Counter Strike on the Mage class. Interesting. I mean, why not? Laser beams build. Kind of, yeah. New damage times in this mod? Nah. I don't even think that's, like, possible to make new damage types in a mod. There is, like, quote unquote, like, holy damage, but. <clears throat> it's just, like, fire lightning damage. I wanna go in here, right? For Bane Gargoth's shield. Oh, subsidian chills, yeah. <laughs> yep, yep. I mean, Crusader class so far overall, like, visually, looks amazing, right? Looks amazing. Damage wise. I feel like it's overall. Pretty decent. Like, pretty well balanced, I would say. I think my main reason why I'm like sometimes struggling is because I'm like 
used to just like, you know, finding like 5 MIs for my build and like base rolling the game. And I'm struggling a bit more. But that's mostly because I don't have the items, I guess. And because I would say, I mean, there are tons of items for these classes, which is amazing. And also, like, those affixes are actually carrying every now and then. Like, the blessed prefix that I got on this helmet, for example, is insane. Giving, like, plus two points to the blessed hammer. Pretty good right now. Um. And in a way, I feel like this is actually arguably more interesting than like base game Grim Dawn's approach right now. Like base game Grim Dawn is I feel like a bit like too power crept already with like certain MIs. You could say we made it even worse in the league, but honestly, like the league supports like so many like of meta things, I feel like the base game is still worse than any of the league items we made. And the same is true in this mod, I would say, like, the, there are, like, modifiers on, on the mice for skills from the classes, from the new classes as well now, which is amazing as well. Uh, I didn't get it right, but... So far, I feel like the modifiers from this mod are either on par or like weaker than the base case mod. But I mean, that said, I've tried like 2 out of like 50 or 100, so it's very much too early to judge anything here. You would have to like spend way more hours on this mod to even like compare anything properly here. <clears throat> what do we have on this one? Furious Charge. What does that even Furious Charge might be like a barb skill, maybe? It's flashier than Grim Dawn with another. Yeah, I mean, Crusader is also like a pretty flashy class, I would say. Even in D3. For me, it was always like a bit over the top, the Crusader class, personally, in D3. But, I mean... Yeah, everything in D3 is flashy, though. I mean, D3 is just like a very, very colorful game. 50% damage reduction? I mean... Wait, why did I put the items in the last time? What am I doing? Monkey. D3 actually burns my eye sockets. Yeah, understandable. Am I still running those fake tournaments where I just set myself up to be the winner? <laughs> uh, how rude. I won one out of three, come on. And no, we only made three. No wings? I mean, I have wings when I activate Akarot's champion now. So, I don't feel like I need other wings on top. This makes way more sense. Equip baby Turial wings now. Who? Angelic monkey? Yep. Speak at last. Yo, CM Clark, Pokemon. Zero para.
It's like a wind devil, the laser. Yeah, w laser is wind devil. Laser devil. It's a wicked, wicked wind devil. I feel like it might be too flashy though, I don't know. Like depending on your monitor settings it might hurt your eyes as well. Ice crunching monkeys. No. Wait, where the fuck is the portal there? Am I blind? Imagine with consecration on the ground on top. Mm. Sounds like a very flashy button, dude. And then, like, you press your. Blinding light, whatever on top, shield glare. You get fucking blind playing this. Okay, where's the portal though? Am I am I stupid? And the answer is yes. But where's the portal though? Hello? Hello? Hmm... Am I this fucking blind? Really? Do I not know the spawn locations by heart? What is wrong with me? Cluster arrow... Oh, I actually played that a lot in D3. When I played uh, Demon Hunter, I played tons of cluster arrow. Thank. Six thousand hours? I mean, I never farmed this guy. But yeah, 6,000 hours running around in circles, yep. Dude, where is it? What the fuck? Wait, I ran past it like five times because they were finding I didn't see it or what? Wow. <coughs> nice. How's the balance with this mod? I mean, so far it seems fine. But I mean, en enemies are also like not changed so far. I think there are some like Diablo 3 specific like mobs in the uh, Shadow Realm as like Shadow Realm bosses. But other than that, there's like no new mobs or like no new maps. It's only classes and items. But I mean, so far I would say the balance seems fine, but I mean, it's just so far. One thing I wonder, like, how would it play if Blessed Hammer was, like, just a chance to activate one hit, you know? Then the template would not be no problem. Durable of imposing presence, I mean, that's good enough. Uh, 41, nice. 18% weapon damage to slash and 33 burn damage with 250 increased duration. But, right. 
Wait, none of these two items convert the physical damage on Slash to... Fire. Yikes. Big F. Will I pre-ban Naja so he can't wreak havoc in leaked in leak chat? <coughs> I'll think about it. Because honestly, I feel like, first of all, this class has so many active buttons already anyway, right? Second of all, maybe it would make like Blast Hammer more balanced early game if there was like, you know, a chance to activate when hit or something like that. It can be like a 100% chance when hit as well, but you would need to get hit at least. Then have like max uptime, like max hammers, like six or something like that. Seven, eight, nine. What about flat RR? I feel like all these classes have flat RR, but like built into them already. Where was it? It's either like a 10 points to one verdict, or over here, right? In shattered ground. So you grab Viper, grab Magi, you grab Torch, you don't need Eddy Storm really. Um, and I guess you grab Raven then. Yar yar. Dara's will. Oh, that's actually a base game item. For some reason I thought it's a new item. Wait, but like, what do you mean you don't convert the physical to fire? How do you convert physical to fire and slash them? Huh? Oh my god, the ability is gonna stay terrible then.
took you long enough. The cone... The cone took... It appears... What do I have these like Corvin Basin quests here? Don't need them right now. Some of us have 28 Chaos Rats. Mocha. Uh, how do I get more Chaos Rats? I guess more Imbued Silver on my weapons instead of the fire stuff that I have right now. The problem is, I need those, right? I need them for the conversion. Like, I can't, like, not play them. Watch a deep poor gameplay video. Looks interesting. Yeah. The four looks all right. I feel like not terrible, not amazing. It looks all right. Might be worth playing. I don't know. Uh, Northern wagon over here. What kind of gameplay did you see? Is there like new gameplay on YouTube? That, or is it still like older content? Like older videos? That was the content. Buy your wins with those random loot box for only $9.99. Sounds like Diablo Immortal there. <coughs> Just a random video, I mean what does that have inside? Like what kind of class was the guy playing? I mean people aren't like allowed to show anything from the beta yet. Right, I mean, even the play people like who played closed beta, they weren't able to like, like allowed to record or like post anything. 
The only like gameplay that's like visible to the public, as far as I know, is uh, like whatever Blizzard themselves have like published for the public, so to say. Or like made publicly available. So most of the time you see like the same actual gameplay when you like watch 10 different like D4 videos because well there's only so much gameplay that they are allowed to show. And it's mostly like the mage video, for example. Or the rogue video, I don't know. I have literally no visitors, so... Unless I get this up to 10 points, I guess. Which I probably should do. I should honestly, like, put one here, one here, one... in Laws of Hope every level. Until I get this to 10. Or get more in Divine Fortress. Or armor and HP as well. I was like a 5 minute watch before we went to sleep, alright. Wait, did I miss the totem? What the fuck, how did I miss the totem? Chains of Shadow. Shadow power and entangling shot. Why did I spawn this up here? What the fuck? Let's see if the Bloodlord's Vengeance has a new modifier. It does have fire damage and lightning to fire to Mantra of Conviction, whatever that is. Probably a monk ability? Question mark. And this one has Fire, Chaos, Piranhas. That's a Witch Doctor ability, I would assume. Piranhas. I still only have like 28 chaos rust, right? Monka.
Preserving Lagorians of Scorching. Mm. I mean, it has higher damage. I mean, higher armor and like percent away and yeah. Imagine if this one was a real boss, Lagorian. Yeah, Lagorian is always kinda easy, I feel like. <clears throat> Bit too easy. Yo, Mikolas, welcome, welcome. Happy New Year to you. How are you doing? I'll give you a good price Crazy party in the middle of nowhere in a house in Vermont. Nice. Sounds good, sounds good. <clears throat> Yeah, I was just like at a friend's party nearby, kind of chill. Not as crazy as your story, I guess. Didn't like drive anywhere, like far. Do you prefer chill sometimes? Yeah, I mean, chill can be pretty chill. <clears throat> Like in a good way. What is this wave of light? Alright, we're gonna use this one now, right? We're gonna use the Bane Gargoth's shield. I struggle to it. You see the Luminaria. Excuse my father and I were part of Though the situation is dark. The room at all, the room at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Uh, you were happy to leave today. It was a lot of noise. 40 people packed in the house on Molly. Oh, it's crazy. Uh -huh. You got Golem Bone Greaves. That's insane. That's an insane quest reward right here, honestly. Absolutely nuts. I should probably play these for now. And Dreadnoughts. Even though I lose so much Aetherus. It's probably fine though. Yeah, this is absolutely not a reward. He's got him born, Greaves. Keep an eye on this. Absolutely not a reward. Keep an eye on this. All right. Um. Come see what's left of my wares. Are there any relics for these like Diablo three classes? Put it to good use. Apart from the Kanaya's cube relics later on. So yeah, let's just move on. That's your chaos grenade pyro build in this patch. Not a good damage buff. I got a good damage buff, and energy sustain isn't the problem right now either. Should try it. Chaos NATO. I mean, there's so many things I would like to try, like, still. 
Not sure if I have the time to play a Kellos NATO build, but yeah, I mean... That sounds good. For sure. So how much conversion do I have for the slash? <coughs> uh, 13, 23 and 22, right, so 45. Mm. I wonder if Carve is even worth it then. I mean, it probably still is. Wires boots. All right, let's rescue the scar as well, Garrett.
think I just want to like pull Bazooki here on this Pilgrim. Wait, we lost skip points to loss of hope. Oh, right, right, right. Because of the shield, right? <clears throat> With Aether Chaos Rus. I could grab this instead of that now, honestly. Like, I don't, I don't want to like invest into these that heavily. I'm just gonna like pick whatever I have like more skill points for. <clears throat> oh, fuck, she died. Oops. Of course she did. Right. Can't respect right now. As the second class, uh, chat voted for a wizard. Ah, we speak at last. So we are now a angelic wizard because we are a crusader plus wizard. And we had twenty percent rata on a shield. Really. Sounds pretty OP. Think you voted for Monk? Yeah, it was very close between Monk and Wizard. Uh, like, Monk was number two, like, only one or two votes behind Wizard. Nesazi Edge. Pets. Zombie Dogs, Summon Gargantuan, Leech for Pets, all damage kills for us. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, like, probably generally. Crusader and Monk would have been like a better combination than Crusader Wizard, I feel like. Just from like looking at the wizard skills. And I'm pretty much playing pure Crusader still right now. I have like one pointed wizard and like a Spectral Blade one pointed. Um... I also feel like generally Crusader is a very heavy like retail class. Very heavy on mutilation damage. I mean, you, you can't you can't play it like retail style, but well, I guess. Reign of Vengeance, whatever that is. Monk better offensively, wizard for defense. Okay. Water of Fire allies from Monk made it to the mod? I have no idea. 
Uh, uh, no clue. <coughs> maybe, maybe not. Whatever it is in, if you all bring what you I come see what's left of my wares. Damage absorber and enchant. I mean, this thing over here seems like busted. <laughs> this entire skill line, like magic weapon, extra presence and unwavering will, like seems OP as fuck. But it's kind of deep into the tree in a way. I mean, it's not like super deep, but it's kind of deep. of the bone spear.
Well, it works the same as percent weapon damage with lance steel. Uh, the skull needs percent weapon damage as well, I think. Question mark. I actually don't know right now. Reign of Terror mod? Uh, no, that's the Diablo 3 mod. Diablo 3 mod does not have a campaign. So it's just a standard Grimdon campaign. But it does have like Diablo 3 classes and Diablo 3 like itemization and there are some D3 bosses, endgame bosses in the Shadow Realm I think. Kinda like Dawn of Masteries, yes, but like way better balanced. <laughs> And it's kind of cool because like the mod also has made the effort to like add skill modifiers to like all existing monster treatments for those new classes as well. Like here you have like skeleton archer stuff or like arcane orb stuff or bone spear stuff, lightning arcane orb, lightning bone spear, like skills from D3 classes. Oh, this one has like acid bone spear. Weapon damage to Acid Cloud, whatever Acid Cloud is. It's kinda cool. Mm. Oh, you're doing a dual... Dual Bard... A Bard build now. Wait, wait. What is Dual Bard? A uh, Dual Barb, rather. Like, Barbarian? Um, from D2 or D3 Barb? Like, Dawn of Mastery just has all the classes, right? It has probably like D2 and D3 Barb as well in there. Together. <clears throat> oh, dual Barb as in D2 Barb plus D3 Barb. Right, 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 right. Yeah, of course. What troubles you? What else was I gonna do here? Right, remove this, yes. Farewell. Okay. And put the skill point into. I guess just the mastery bar, why not? Kind of lost it earlier on. Yeah. Uh, I mean, especially the Diablo 2 classes, from what I've heard and seen, are probably pretty strong. Maybe like, too strong? The D3 classes? I don't know. I haven't like... I mean, honestly, I have like not tested any of these like properly. Or, like, enough yet. I mean, I should probably pick up Diamond Skin as well. But like, double... Double mirror, basically, it's kind of weird.
Alchemist purple rings are like Santa Claus, but choose to believe they exist. I mean... Didn't they even like buff the drop rate last patch? I feel like it should be totally reasonable now. They they are kind of like supposed to be a rare item after all. Rundon doesn't have like that many chase items anyway. I guess chase items are like the greens, right? Like the triple rare greens, of course. <coughs> when he runs to so runs to blues, I mean. 20 runs, you should like run 200 runs maybe. Yeah. Right, I mean, Akuma's rings are just like that. Mmm, I miss. Silvarius, then... oops. Just wanna put a portal log here, I guess. By the way, does Monk have an ability where you, you know, can only use it when you have no weapon? Like some unarmed ability? No? Does that even work in Grimdawn? Probably not. I mean, maybe? I know you can, like, restrict skills, but you can, like, can you restrict skills to... Nah, the problem is you can only, like, you can't restrict skills, you can only, like, enable skills, right? Like, you need to have... If you have a restricted skill, you need to have something enable, like some weapon enable the skill, right? You, you can't ever have like no weapon enable, enable the skill, I think. Sounds like an engine limitation. In a way, or like a template limitation, whatever, whatever you want to call it. It has unarmed only? Wait, does it? Huh. I mean, that's something that, like, base Grim Dawn is missing so far. I mean, I know it's hard to balance, but... But unarmed only also means you have no weapon, right? You have... Like, you're missing two slots. It's not only your main hand, but also you can't have a knockdown, right? Welcome back to The 
blessed way. There is no punch animations. Mm. Yeah, you would need to like create punch animations for like weapon pool skills and stuff like that. Like I was imagining something like exploding palm, you know. Like a deeper attack that requires unarmed. But you would make it like you would have to make it work with like weapon pro skills. And then you probably need like custom animations for those. Which someone like Okami could make happen, right? Technically. Got both of the post items already. Am I gonna miss like two crabs again? Probably. 
Yo, easy work, man. Well, it's easy is here. Oh shit, it's so late already. Dang. Time flies like a banana, dude. Time flies like a banana. How did I lose this top? Imagine not starting the stream to cater to your Australian audience. <clears throat> All two of them. Yeah, I mean, there's you and Scrub. Is there anybody else from Australia? No idea. I'll give you a good price on what I've got left. Vitality Force Wave, I mean Wave of Force. Physical Punish. Let's do the Laria real quick. Just to slay some cultist priests, cultist priests at the tomb of Korvac. I kind of didn't want to kill her, although... Oh, well. Curses upon, you. Yeah, curses upon me. I am sorry. are being left outside again.
I'm done here, right? What am I doing? I'm done. We have here a chest drive has called Pen of Knives on it. Pen of Knives is probably pretty much the same as like freaking. See anything you like? What's it called again? Phantasmal Blades. And then this one Corpse Spiders, Death Nova, Medusa Spiders. Some kind of like Witch Doctor. Stuff, I guess. Okay. Put it to good use. See anything you like? Iron well spent. Rescue the traveling witches. Oh. Trust me. They don't trust me all well. Since the deep beneath good, you will. Mm, yep, yep. I'm a wizard, bad chest. I'm a Harry. Uh, yep, 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 yep. Yep, yep. I'll hold on to that for you. Time for X6? Question mark. 75 cows, 80 wit, 30 poison, monka. Uh, acid resistance. Dried on the crane. Dryad and Crane. Hmm. Why did I sell like all the living rings? What am I doing? Gotta be better than this crap, right? Oh well. Fuck.
This is where I get my skating kind of right magic weapon. Like me flat damage at least. <clears throat> The hammers are still, like, doing work, right? Or damage to cleave? I assume that's like a barb skull. Cleave. To say it against Catan. Pretty much. For Zakarum. Who? Who? I'm kind of low on health, though, right? Like, how do I only have like 4.7k health? Is that you, mother? Is that you, mother? As you command. Uh, should we fight me a bit? I haven't come by that name in so many years. Burrich. Kind of want to try him. How it feels against the sky. Okay, it feels kind of terrible. I would argue. Yeah. Hmm. 
ZDP asan değil ya. <gülüyor> Queen 69 Crusader. Queen 69 Crusader here. I'm going to have a boss in the game. I mean, he is the greatest monster killed. He certainly is the greatest monster killed. Red and bleed damage to bloodthirst. <coughs> what? But yeah, if you compare those to just, you know, like playing a warlord with like false wave cleaver, it's like Fucking false wave cleaver like wins every time, man. What can I say? Maybe we should also like focus on like maxing out one of these first, since there's all these like soft cap bonuses, right? Thirty-five percent more armor, for example. Put a path in the Argon fight right now. Max out this. Like honestly, this Iger fight like was actually fun, you know. Like it actually felt like a fight. Damn. It would have been also an actual like rippy fight if, uh, well, indestructible doesn't exist. <laughs> Freaking like 100% damage absorb at 33% HP. I mean, it's like Mark of Divinity, right? So, I mean, it also exists in the game, I guess. But. Yeah. I mean, how much different is men here as well, really? It also, like, starts getting complicated when you play Soldier and Crusader together, maybe. What do we have here? Sash of Knives. Fan of Knives, Assassin's Knives. That sure sounds like lots of knives. I don't know, like, are these monk skills? Are these demon hunter skills? I have no idea. Either or, I guess. Skill, you believe? Yeah, probably. Chaos damage, avalanche, avalanche, avalanche. However you, however you pronounce that word.
Flash Warp Core. Alright, now I need another Pulse on this one. Yeah, no. Do I wanna do this quest? On a normal? Honestly? Probably not. Just skip it. I should not skip the... Shrine there. Sell here real quick. I'll give you a good price on what I've got left. Actually, I don't need to go sell what am I doing. What am I doing? Put it to good use. See anything you like? Just slap it on there, right? Doesn't matter. Some random like poison damage. I mean, five percent more damage to get tonics. I should have used that like, I guess, before entering the rifts. Quest log not long enough to extend past my camp, please fix. I know, right? What key bindings am I using for camera movement? Uh, just middle mouse, like mouse wheel, like holding down the mouse wheel activates it and then I can just move the mouse. I think that's default, actually. I don't know, I just got used to them. To the default setting in that case. I am playing with like WASD, the, I mean WQER for skills usually there. Instead of on the 345. Uh, I mean, I was a mobile player before playing Grimdawn, I guess. I mean, in a way, like, RPGs feel like, you know, like, mobile retirement home. When you're too bad to, like, play PvP, you just play PvE instead. <laughs> uh, Aether has 60... Not 80... Also, Poison's only 30... These guys are... Starting to hurt a bit. You better have eh? Is it the black I don't know what eh? So mobile retirement home, eh? If you're the ethereal I mean it's true, isn't it? Like wouldn't you say like RPGs are mobile retirement homes in a way? I feel so mm -hmm. More damage to Undead and Cathonics? Sure, 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 sure. I 
I haven't tried a PvP in PvE yet, no. But holy shit, it's bad. I mean, isn't that like terrible in all mob and like in all RPGs in a way? I feel like it's terrible in all the RPGs. It was like fun for five minutes in Diablo 3, I think. Any reason for just the D3 mod and not the compilation like DOM or Grammaria? Um, okay, so reason number one is I have already played DOM in the past and I played it for like one day and I was like, yeah, this is just like, I mean, cool to like see everything, I guess, at once. But other than that, just like a very unbalanced mess. Um, people have told me to play Grammarillion, like it's, it's like better balanced than DOM. Or like it's not quite as crazy. I could have played that too. But I guess I just wanted to like well only play one at a time. Um The D3 mod got like Well it's to quote the creator, it's like final iteration or definitive edition or something like that. Um a couple of days ago, so yeah. The D3 mod it is for now. How did I go on PoE? Um, I played this like Ice Crash Inquisitor up to maps and softcore. Played a bit of maps. Realized that like I don't know. I mean, Ice Crash really like kind of sucked during campaign and like in maps it also kind of sucked. I feel like I don't know. Maybe it like needs gear to be actually good. Um, at least for PoE standards that sucked. I, I felt like it was fine, but then you like get to maps and you're like just getting like randomly one shot or something like that already like in the white maps and I'm, I'm like, yeah, okay. Maybe this build sucks after all. Or maybe I'm just like bad at the game or maybe I just don't like how like endgame PoE plays, maps play, I don't know. Um, and then I rerolled the Poisonous Concoction Witch, uh, Oculatist, and honestly that one felt like in Hardcore. That one felt like a complete zoomer build already, like by Act 4. Um, but it also felt kind of fun in a way. But yeah, the build already feels Act 4 5 like other builds. Feel the neck tell, I guess. Um, I don't know. You really just get so fucking zoomy like so fast, and it's always like too zoomy for me to be honest. I don't know. Maybe I'm like too boomer for it, or I don't just don't like the gameplay. But I feel like in quotation marks, like proper PvE gameplay is you create a character, right? And then you just zoom around, one-shot everything. I mean, bosses are cool and interesting still. But everything else is just like zoom, 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 right? And if you're like playing maps later on, there's like so many things that can actually like kill you while you're like zoom, 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 zooming. Like how are you gonna like react to that? Like how do you play hardcore in that game? I don't get it. I mean, I guess you have to like your, your defense is like foolproof proof, and then you like know what maps you can basically like just face tank through. Like without getting one shot randomly. And I guess there are like some elites that you still have to like keep an eye out for. I don't know man. To me, like the way I'm playing this crusader right now with like two movement abilities, that's already like zoomer enough for me. Like I don't know, people say Grandon is slow. I mean sure it's slower than Pub of Exile, yeah, but is it like actually slow? I don't think it's like slow gameplay, it's just a bit more tactical with like movement skills, like not being spammable. Um I don't know, I mean it's quick enough for me. What is this fire punish? Wait, punish is this one is the other one, right? It's like ret retaliation, punish, and fire damage. Wee, we, lol w. Wee, lol. <clears throat> I 
Grim Dawn is slower in killing mobs. Yeah, I mean, Path of Exile, you just like. Like, like the mobs, like, are there mobs in Path of Exile? Like, you don't. I don't know, man. I. If I want. I want to, like, feel some kind of combat. Maybe I say that while, like, one shotting trash here in this game as well. But I mean, sometimes you have to like, actually, like, stop and attack a bit. Like, I don't know. I think that's, like, better content than just, like, zooming through everything. And. I don't know. Like, I, I know, like, for some people it's like, it's like coca co co cocaine or something, like, one-shotting their entire screen, like, zooming around, that's like, what makes them feel well, good. But to me, it's like, it just makes me get eye cancer, I don't know. I don't get the appeal, really. Yeah. I've spoken. Be careful up there. We have Come see what's left of my wares. Like, I'm playing like a super, to me, like, already, like, quick build in PvE, and people in chat are, like, all, like, what the fuck are you doing? I can't watch this, it's, like, way too slow. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? <coughs> RF, Jug, and Quiz, very solid, slower, not zoom, zoom, besides movement skill. Yeah, it's a very popular build right now. Maybe I should play small mouth, but I don't know. I mean, the poison concoction is fun though, like, I'm not saying it's not fun. I mean, you can also just, like, play it slower, you know? But if, like, the ideal gameplay would be, like, shield rush through everything all the time, like, do, like, one or two concoctions and then, like, kill all the trash with, like, the... I don't know, this, like, venom ability that, like, stacks up the venom and then, like, unleashes it in an AoE around you. I forgot the name, but that one. I just want to blast and zone out. Yeah, I mean, you gotta like get some hours in to like get to the point where you can just like blast and zone out and free up. Like, especially when playing hardcore. But then again, I guess like PUE in hardcore is just like kind of a joke nowadays. People have said that like in the past, like PUE hardcore was actually like fun and like it was a slower game and so on. And nowadays, it's just like a matter of time until you like. Rather than they get like one shot because it like you were unable to pay attention at all anymore because it's just like too quick. But yeah. <clears throat> I mean, and I kind of want to get to magic weapon. On the other hand, like this class probably gives like no. Health and I could grab Divine Fortress for health and armor instead. You either one shot everything and win, or they one shot you and you lose. Doesn't be like, yeah, I mean, there is no gameplay. That's my issue. Like, Path of Exile has no gameplay. Like, Path of Exile has gameplay like during the campaign, like early. But later, like, when you play it, like, optimally, right, there is no gameplay. At least in my opinion. Like, where's the gameplay? I don't see it. Alright, anyway. Um, anyway, 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 it's already, like, half past one for me, and... My... Hard drive is getting full with the VOD as well. <laughs> so, I think this is a good time to stop right here. RF Jug disagrees with that, I can actually take a hit. Yeah, I mean, it's like you play one class, Jug. You you play like, you try to like play Melee, Ice, Crash, Inquisitor, you just get one shot all the time, even though you like pick all the tankness nodes in the world that you can get, and you have like ZDPS, and you still get one shot. I mean, I don't know. I guess Jug works for like tank playstyle, you know? I just wish like it would be a bit... Maybe I haven't played PUE enough though, like I don't know. But yeah, thanks for watching guys.